Hello, 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 hello. What's going on? Give me one quick second, I forgot something, then we'll get started. Hold on. All right, sorry about that. Now we can, uh, now we can get started. I'll tell you what I, I'll tell you what. I'm to do. Hi, hello. Sorry, what's going on? Welcome in everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Happy Monday. How was everyone's weekend? Thank you so much for stopping in. Who we got here? Who we got? Dust coming in with the first. What's up, dude? How was your weekend? What you been up to? Roku, yo, Roku. How you been? Thank you for stopping in. Roku coming in with the quickness. How are you, Roku? Clockwork sliding in. How's it going, dude? What you been up to? Sap boost. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Deep, what's up? How you been recently? Thanks so much for stopping in. Louie, how are you? Shika no ko no ko, so true. Have you guys been keeping up with that show? The last one was so funny. It was so good. Rafi, what's up? Welcome in, Rafi. How's it going? V, what's going on? Welcome in. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, so the thing that I forgot, um, I forgot to grab a, I have this little like wall partition thing, like a sound panel basically, that I put up beside my desk. Um, and I do that for streams that are going to be very um vocal we'll say aka pretty much all so i pretty much put it anytime i stream or record and i just move it to and from like under my bed or like sometimes i don't even put it, put it under there but um i do it to for one of two things one is it is a sound panel so it should help with reverberation and things um which you know i've listened to uh far too many audio instances to uh to speak on that uh, it, it's all blended together but i know that things like that are important uh, but also i don't want to get a um uh, an eviction notice for yelling about uh pixels on on a mobile game on my computer screen uh, at like midnight so you know how it would be you know how it'd be con con what's going on welcome in how are you thank you so much for stopping in be reading uh tower of tower of god is that what it is Mid chapter 10, season one, let's go. I, um, I, they're, Crunchyroll is, is pushing that a lot. I, so I'll be honest, I did not watch, um, too much anime the past, like, week, actually, surprisingly. So what I've been doing, um, is I'm now almost completely caught up on this season of, uh, House of the Dragon, which is something that I've neglected for far too long. I think they have the season finale this coming Sunday. So, um, I'm only like a couple episodes behind now. I think I have like one or two more, maybe. I think two more. And my goal is to, to watch that and then watch the season finale live. Um, that's like one of the very few live action shows that I watch uh, at this point in time. It's been far too long since I've watched anything else with um, <coughs> real people. Yo, so true, Dakota. What's up, Volkman? How's it going? How you been? Wow. I forgot to add that to my GoXLR. Thank you for reminding me. Um, but sap boost i it was it was all right i'm not gonna lie it was a little it was a little low key and chill which you know was different than what i normally use what i'm normally used to but that's not necessarily a bad thing so it was quaint it was chill um i can't complain too much i mean i guess i could complain but i'm not going to don't worry oh like i said i could i could complain if you want me to but how about yourself how could we get a quick um a quick happy birthday to sap boost as well a happy belated um, they are my twin, actually, in case you guys didn't know, we were born on the same day, along with a lot of other people. A lot of people actually have that birthday, I found out. There's some cool people, there's, like, Mick Jagger is one of them. There's some not-so-cool so people, like, uh, Kevin Spacey is one of them, so we don't, we don't talk about those people that have that birthday, but there are some other good ones. Okay, sound effects. Riz sounds. There we go. Okay, so now I should be able to... There we go. Bingo, bango. I'm a streamer. All right, cool. Yeah, Sapoos, you do anything good for your birthday? Well. Delicious pizza. What you got on the toppings? What's What makes it so delicious? Shocks me and what have the same birthday? Yeah, dude, I feel, like, uh, I feel like a lot of people just share birthdays. It's such a small world. It's so funny how that works. And I feel like that's normally the case too. Like you, you go to like a, 
any somewhat crowded area like a school or something there's like multiple people that i don't know why i said that i, I think my my thought was like you know you're in school you're like all right my birthday's on this day and then they're like no way my birthday's there too i'm like shut up this my day you know except i never got to celebrate my birthday in school because summer birthdays you know how it be we got like that little like last last week of school be like all right and here's for all the summer birthdays yeah everyone gets us half a cupcake because this is coming out of the teacher's pocket and I never knew that until I was old and then I started to feel really bad about the sad pizza parties that we used to have um depressing who's the good twin obviously me bro you looking at me kid you gotta tell me that I'm a bad guy you really gonna say that to me I gotta fix that I think I can have it so I can queue it up like multiple times hang on it's been so long since I've like really edited um the sampler on this I don't use it that much play stop um play fade no I think I just have to keep pressing it right stop on release I have to hold it oh no way cheap viewers this early on that's crazy all right guys so in five minutes you'll find out where to get the best viewers <laughs> Uh, dude, Seribot is such a blessing. I saw something pop up about them on Twitter, actually. I, for I forgot to look at what it was. I took a nap today after going to the gym. They're trying to mix me up. I know. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't get how they do that. I come back and I'm hit with the breadstick sound. <laughs> the breadstick alert sound. Oh, want to go to Olive Garden? Is that what? <laughs> All of Garden. That was funny. That was so dumb. That was such a terrible brain rotted stream. I can't wait for the next one. I'm going to use that as my segue. All right. So guys, this week, um, it's basically the same exact schedule as last week. Don't worry. So today and tomorrow playing Arcanites chapter eight. We're going to keep going through as much as we can. And then on Wednesday, we are going to be playing more Celeste. Um, I don't know how much more we have on that. I'd like to think we probably only have a max of like two more streams because we've already streamed it twice. Maybe we can beat it Wednesday. Who's to say? Um, for anyone who knows, don't, don't say, we'll, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. That's all. Um, Arknights, I, I have no idea how, how long this is going to be. Again, no, no need to, no need to say we'll get there when we get there. We're just going to keep chugging along like two streams a week for that. Uh, but yeah, some exciting stuff. Don't make me Yamate your Kurasai again. Don't you dare. Choto Mate. <laughs> yeah, no, we've been, uh, we've been going at a pretty good pace, I feel, for, um, for both games actually and 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 i want to give both of them the attention that they deserve um that's a problem that i have when balancing schedules is um is i have so many other things that i want to do and so many things that i want to stream and even now that i have things that i could slot in or other things we could play um but i, I want to finish both of those and then we can kind of reassess so like after Arcanized Chapter 8, which is going to be a long one, we're not we're probably not going to go right into Chapter 9. We're probably going to do some like side stories and, and other random stuff for, for a tiny bit. Um, and we won't pull on Shoes Banner until next week, unfortunately. So I'll hold out. I'm going to save up and hopefully we get her. So we have that. And then uh, after Celeste, I don't know. We'll probably regularly mix in Elden Ring streams here and there I, I don't think we'll ever like abandon it but I don't think we'll ever beat it at a really good pace unless I just somehow uh, lock in um because there's a lot of other things I don't want to mix in as well but we will keep playing it the fertile fields I gotta fertilize those fields that sounds weird night in the woods that's the other one that you resent right Dakota I think right 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 Kibo, what's going on? Welcome in. Happy Monday, Kibo. Or, or um, based on your, what you said, Tuesday, right? Happy start to your week. Welcome in, dude. How are you? Yeah, we'll consider it, Dakota. There's some other stuff that I got to get to for sure. You're getting shoe in the free daily pills just because you met. Oh, no. Oh, it's one of the banners that gives daily pulls. Well, yeah, like I have to do them. You know, use it or lose it. I'll let you guys know if I do. Worst case... Worst case. Worst case, I do one daily pull on Wednesday. And then I hold out. And then maybe, just maybe, a late night gorilla on Thursday. TBD, don't quote me. Don't quote me. Late night gorilla on Thursday. 
where all we do is pull for shoe and either we get her or we don't and then we end stream <laughs> I don't I don't use her all I do is acquire her and end stream or we don't get her and then I end stream but there's a single tear falling down my cheek as it happens <laughs> those are the options I'm doing pretty good Kibo doing even better now that you guys are all here it's so nice to catch up after a few days late night gorilla hey yo you guys seen that video of that like thick gorilla that like spins around and is like double cheeked up at the zoo and the person filming the video is like damn gorillas are funny dude they have so many good videos now i feel like you know i feel like gorillas have been trying to win the hearts of humans ever since the whole harambe incident need i remind them um, so I feel like, you know, they, their, their, their squad over there, you know, they, they have their regular gorilla meetings and they're like, fellas, how, what can we do to earn the human's trust? You know, we cannot have another Harambe. So they're like, hmm, 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 you know, what can we do? What can we do to earn the human's trust? No more, no, no, no Harambe part two. So what they do is they just start twerking at the zoo and it works. It works. It works wonders. I haven't heard a single story of another gorilla incident ever since they started twerking. Coincidence? Who's to say? Who's to say? Who's to say? Don't Harambe to Electric Blue again. Miss me with that. Unbelievable. Don't you don't you even dare threaten them gorillas. I should see if um there's like a gif of that. Give me a second. I'm gonna slurp this coffee. Yo, Vinyl, what's up, dude? Welcome in. How are you? Thanks so much for stopping in. How's your day going? Happy uh, Monday. Welcome to the stream. Check Discord. Is that a threat? Are you threatening me? <laughs> yeah, I think it's that one. I think I think it is that guy. Well, I don't know. Actually, now that I think about it, there's quite a lot of silly gorillas. But there you go. Isker. All right, let me see. Is there other gorilla? Are there silly gorilla gorilla gifts? Having trouble which operator I want to sink resources into. I think you should do Swire. Uh, for a completely unrelated, unbiased reason. Also, I didn't set the game yet. My bad. So it's just... It's just a black screen. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. Gorilla uh, cheeks. That's what I'm looking for. Gorilla said that. Gorilla really said that. All right, this was way more revealing than I anticipated. Uh, I want TikTok. Got to specify the TikTok. I think it's this one. Yeah, this one. Yo, I'm he surprised just, this he just spins around insane. I'm not going to I'm not going to share that because I might get in trouble. Might get in trouble if we do that. So, we must put a we must put a, a restriction on the amount of gorilla cake that we show on screen or else we'll get in trouble. Che Che, you are not late at all. You can never be late. You're always perfectly on time. Thanks so much for stopping in, dude. What you been up to? Never late at all. Why is the overlay up? Oh, I don't want the overlay up. Give me a second. I thought I fixed this before, but uh, turns out I didn't. <laughs> turns, uh, turns out I did not, indeed. Um, okay, gamers, we're good. We are good. Let's Arc Knights. Um, I think since the last stream, I actually swapped the base operator to regular Swire. Honestly, it, it had just been far too long since I heard, you know, Dr. Gao right as I sign in every single time. It, you know, fills my heart with joy. Granted, Swire Alter's uh, little greeting is also very nice. I, I, I will admit. I will admit it feels good. Um, what changes have been made? So... Uh, methinks I finished. Yes, yeah, so I am three to Minar. Uh, so that was the first thing. So I did that. Um, it took a while to get the materials. Well said. Well said. Thank you, Kibo. <laughs> Exa precisely what he meant when he means to exactly. So you get it. You get it. You guys understand. You got it. <laughs> Thank you, Rafi. <laughs> so um, I just I got distracted by the double gal. My my ears perked up a little bit. Go. 
There she is. There she is. Uh, yeah, I actually don't remember what I was saying. Oh, so I, um, <laughs> I am 3 in Minar. Uh, that took a while to get the materials, actually. So who I'm working on now, I think I'm doing it out of order than the list that I had in, um, in, in the pin message in Discord. But I'm working on Reed Alter because I think Reed has definitely cemented, um, a spot in the team, like, always. Like, unless there's actually a restriction on the amount of medics that I can bring, I'll be bringing her. Because, like, she's my primary healer, and then, um, where are you? And then Perfumer's, or no, sorry, Perfumer's the primary, Reed's the secondary. Um, and then, you know, Calcet will occasionally pop in as well. She does minor healing, not that much. Galth cubed as it as we deserve. Um, I also got FedEx module, so I don't know if, I don't know if there's a wild Mika out there, but I got FedEx module since we beat the stage, and it turns out I actually did the requirements. So, um, I haven't decided when I'm m 3 ing him, but he's also been doing, like, really well lately. Remove the, uh, the just kidding from the normal greeting. No, they have it. It's just not, it's not written. She says nanchate. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. Um, executor, uh, psh, executor the ex Fedore, uh, Fed, Federico. Federico, Federico. So I'm prepped for him to probably be an M3 candidate soon. I wanted to get his um, module because I've been using him a lot lately. Um, I find that where I don't want to use Surter and Munar all that often, I'm like, you know, self nerfing a bit. I mean, you know, as I started, I, you know, heavily relied on them. Um, my ground units are definitely a bit lacking. So between like FedEx, swire and bagpipe like they're the only ones that hit the ground normally other people stand on the ledge besides unless you count like monster or like cantabile but cantabile doesn't stay too long and myrtle's just in the back waving her flag around so um i think one thing that i will probably want to do is maybe get like another guard um more built probably not regular swire admittedly um part of me wants to do this guy because he's kind of cool but I know this is an expensive promotion, uh, especially because I don't think I can get this material. A dedicated defender. It's been a while since I've had a defender. You were right. Um, ooh, so Quora, Quora and Cardigan slot in a lot, and so does Horn. Quora, I guess, could use a little bit more. What's our module do? Defense 20% when blocking an enemy. That's actually pretty good. I might do that. Maybe we do that because she she'll end up lasting a lot a lot longer. Bagpipe mod. Wait, do I not have the bagpipe module? I thought I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, core core is good when I need some extra blocks. Otherwise, like monster can block some and kill some, which is nice. And then horn is also does pretty well. I think I'm spoiled for choice, but not enough to where I feel just like spending them on random operators. That's a good place to be in then, because then you have like when you decide who you want to build, you're able to build them pretty quickly, which is good. Um, but yeah, so I guess I could consider doing Neural. Do, does anyone use five star Neural at all? Out of curiosity. I feel like when you see um, you have people talking about Neural, it's generally the uh, the alt, which makes sense. I don't even have her. Damn, I actually only got her somewhat recently. I think I got her from recruitment. I'd probably want the altar. The altar is very cool and very good too, I believe. Alternative to a medic when you need the block. Yeah. See, like, I think the only per I have like spot or gummy to fill that role and like they can hang a little bit, but they will definitely die very quickly later on. If you pull shoe, you won't need neural. Oh, that's a good point. I don't recall what shoe's kit is, but I know you guys said it was pretty unique. He's here and the altar equally. Oh, interesting. Okay. I mean, it, in terms of healing defenders, is she one of the better ones? Because I don't recall if, like, Saria heals, technically. That's what I'm trying to decide. Nah, go for Shu. Go for Shu. Shu's cool. I'm upset that we won't get to pull her on stream right away, but we we will. We will. But I have, I have a decent amount saved, actually, guys. You, you guys would be proud of me. Oh, it's completely blocked off. I have 26k. 
And then an extra 10k based on OPs. Kill defender, gotcha. Okay. Um, what else did I want to do? I think I just wanted to blitz through some uh recruitments quick. Um see defender. I, I wanna I wanna grab like a list carm out of here at some point. I feel like that would be really neat. Oops. Um refresh here. Um, I'll do one more. Slow. Try slow DPS. No, I don't think that's a thing. Slow range might get us Ambriel. But it also will probably get us um, Orchid. Captain of Told you. Op team A6. Orchid. This card was my main defender until Are chapter 12. Whoa, really? Dang. All right. Go DPS here. Good resisting pulls. You guys, uh, the character development is nuts. I mean, to be fair, I would be spending it to try and get far tooth. I don't I already have Golden Glow. The featured ops that have been out lately, I've already had. And I, and me skipping um, whoever the, the bunny was did pretty well. That support tag was a guaranteed four star. Don't say that to me, Raffi. No. <laughs> Uh-oh. Whoops. Yeah, so I never got list Um, I guess one guard I could consider building more you know you know thank god you can borrow my far, far tooth if I want I like her design I I think she, I think she looks cute and small her eyes are way too big for her head and she has a cool outfit and like the armor thing's cool but there's too many too many good snipers that's the problem I finished the um event mostly oh I still have some money in here actually I did uh, you oh, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna be able to see I got up to EX7. EX6 was really tough for me. I didn't end up going back to try and uh, finish it. Oh, I guess I'm just getting money. Okay. Um, so I I actually borrowed some Typhoons uh, a bit. And then I think I borrowed a Chobe once. But the Typhoons were actually really crazy. The The range plus the damage was a really nice combo. I, I deployed her and I deployed my own Ambriel. And they were picking off a lot of people in most of the early stages. So I did pretty good in terms of the rewards here. I cleared out most of it. I got a couple Jiyun tokens. Uh, I skipped the furniture, got all the mats, and uh, yeah, not bad. She has infinite range in a straight line. Ooh, don't borrow my, who's Fia? I feel like you guys have said Fia before, but I don't know who that is. But I think we are just about ready to jump in here. Rain Fire Tooth are up on support if you want to give them a test run. All right, let me let me look. Oh, Fiamet. Guys, you guys got, need to know that I will never call her Fiametta. I'm always going to call her Flametta because that's that's who she is in my brain now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. All right, Con Con. Oh, I didn't mean to visit you. I guess I can knock on your door. Hello. How do I look at your profile? Flametta. Typhon's a very balanced character. You think so? I feel like she's actually really strong. I don't remember if we pulled for her or not now that I think about it. Oh, do I not get to look at them? How do I look at them? Blemish shine. I like the I like the uh, outfit. That's cool. Quirkus, Ray and Fartooth. Um, okay, so infinitely long straight line ahead. Damn. When attacking an enemy outside of the normal range, damage dealt increases what damn okay so you get some good positioning on her she can just do big money damage on like a spawn point or something that's pretty good coffee you met the kfc chicken damn what's ray's thing immediately stops attacking until fully loaded reload interval greatly reduces attack range increases attacks deal 330 percent of attack as physical damage and bind the enemy for two seconds sheesh What's up with them coming out with crazy good characters lately? The power creep is nuts. Wasn't D-Gen really good too? I'm gonna look at Shirkers. Flash 10 times, each dealing a butt buttload of damage to six enemies. Woo! Damn. Yeah, that seems good. More restricted than Ambriel, but does far more damage. Yeah, yeah. So she's more on like positioning. Void, what's up, dude? Welcome back. How's it going? Yeah, did you guys hear the nun chat today? That means just kidding. 
she broken so i ignored her banner yeah i can't, can't have that easy mode gameplay you know <laughs> Mountain, Amia, Lava, Blue Poison, and Courier level. Blue Poison's good. I like Blue Poison. Oh, I haven't used Blue Poison in a while. Yeah, so we're we're, we're in a good position. So, uh, so what was going on last time? So, we were uh, in a flashback sequence with Tallulah. Uh, young Tallulah, um, she had... So, we found out that she killed her, like... I, not a real dad, right? It was like the stepdad or something. Who was the guy in the chair? That very like snake looking guy um, who actually was a snake actually now that I think about it. Um, so she killed him and then started that's when she, before she went to the town and then she had the run in with the town and now she's like basically starting reunion and uh, Kashi, thank you. <laughs> so she's like starting reunion and then um she just met Frost Nova for the first time, and Frost Nova, no pun intended, is a lot more cold than we knew her in present time. <laughs> Waiting for 4.5. Valid. It's soon. It's soon. You're going to be pulling for shoe, my friend? So, yeah. So, we're dealing with, um, with Frost Nova... Frost Nova's coldness, and then I think we are probably going to meet Patriot soon because I think, if memory serves, Tallulah was chatting about um, how, you know, things about Patriot in this sequence. Same for the fifth anniversary. Bro, that's in six months! Six months! You can start saving the month before, at least. You're, you're good. You're good. You got five months to, 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 to do whatever. A random farming? I ain't doing that. I ain't got time for that. I might do, like, challenge modes off stream if needed, but... So, um, cool. Yeah, so that's where we left off. I'm excited to see where the story goes. So this is our, um, just a reminder, this is our first experience with, um, with chapter eight. Um, I do ask uh, that we keep it spoiler free and let me, uh, spout jargon. If you've been here before, you, you know what, you know, kind of yapping we'll get into. So, uh, cool. All right. So what do we got here? So we got, um, some funky areas here. This one looks tough. Right, we're gonna need some snipers. A couple of enemies. Okay. What does that say? Patriots altar. Oh. All right. Yeah. Patriots coming out to play. Maybe. Okay. Um. I must have been using this. I don't know when I was using this team. All right. Let me swap Munar. Let me grab Cantabile. Swap Searcher. Let me grab. I guess Pajemka. The day shall come for every land I'll keep FedEx. I'll keep you. I'm going to swap Elysium. I'll grab. I guess I'll grab Korra. We talked about her earlier. I think this will probably be a decent horn horn map. You'll fight a boss at the end. Bro, come on! Why would you say that? All right, cool. Let's go. All right, what do we got? What do we got? <clears throat> Gotta remember people's voices. I always forgore. I, I will I will remember, but I do often forgore. Let me just adjust my AC real quick so I don't freeze my little toes. There we go. I just don't know what was up with that accent, my bad. All right. All right. So they start with like a diary or something. Mm. Must we'll save. Ah, valid. You're you guys are you guys are uh, gotcha game hoarders. All right, which eh? Back when I first became infected, my mind wasn't clear on anything. I knew Cash, he wanted to make me do so much, but I was always afraid. What was it he wanted me to do? Had he planned some kind of trick? One to destroy in the blink of an eye on a network of infected I'd spent so much time setting up? Or had he planned to let me divide the infected, let them drift into two camps? Ah, the urbanites and the settlers. Or even the more frightening scenario, perhaps he'd planned for the infected to become a new army, and for Ursus to be plunged into war once more? I can only speculate. He hung over my head like a murky specter, impossible to chase off, but I could only move onward. One of the Yetis, apparently called Petrova, used Sisti milk yesterday to stir fry oils, oil seeds. Strange recipe for sure. Taste was pretty interesting. Bro, not Petrova! <laughs> womp womp. Raffi, thank you for the hydrate. My dude Petrova deserved better. 
Justice for the Yetis, I say. Justice for them. All right. All right, well, who else she interacting with? Oh, Alina. Sweet, innocent Alina. <clears throat> oh, I remember that. The time's gone so fast. It's been two whole years. Are the stories the fighters passed around true then? You really fought with her? From the sound of it, you both blew the entire city ruins into oblivion. Wasn't that dramatic? Rumors always get more outlandish as time goes on. All I did was melt her originium ice crystals. Shashenka, no running around. You'll slip. Look at them. Just free to live. It's so nice. It's a duty of mine. I never imagined you'd volunteer to teach the children. I get along a lot better with the children than I do with Ursus. What was that about melting just now? Frost Nova's Originium Ice Crystals, the sort of arts device her squad used, by my guess. That's something. I'm sure Frost Nova didn't like it. <laughs> nope. I took a single breath and she froze half my body. And when I finally snapped out of it, she was already charging me, going for the neck with an ice blade. I blocked it, took in the hissing sound, and, uh, and the sword tasted frost for the first time in all its years. It was probably a first for her, too, meeting someone who could chip her blade. Ah, oh, you're pretty happy to talk about this. Are you proud of it, maybe? Not really. Uh, yeah, maybe you're right. Uh, that child, the one hiding behind the wood fence, what's her name? Ugh. Liu Bov, that's enough spying on us, Li Liuba. I'll read a story for all, for you all next period. That's right, a story of all, all about an old ghost in the Grey Forest. A scary story. Could you help br bring me some wood shavings? Put them in a basket? Thank you. So then. Frost Nova. Alina, you know it's Frost Nova we're talking about. Her name spread among the casters of the Northwestern Tundra long before mine ever did. I thought you didn't like it when people spoke your name. If anyone ever uses it to threaten, then of course I won't be happy, but... Hearing my name makes them want to challenge me, then that's not too shabby. Nothing like you. I don't think Frost Nova ever gives challenges. The time of day. Thinking about it that, that way, you really stoked her fire, didn't you? Interesting choice of words there, Alina. She's the top of the infected casters, the top squad commander, and the strongest of the infected warriors to boot. Don't misunderstand. It's not like that's what I aim for. Plenty of people think you resemble each other in places, though. Some of the children say they want to be like Frost Nova, and others say they want to be a hero like you. It's funny because in the modern setting, I had given um, Frost Nova and Tallulah quite similar, just like dark, you know, like, you know, very somber voices, you know, a time out, time out. Now, that's a word I'm not happy with. How about you, Alina? What do you think? That kind of voice. No, two people are alike in my eyes. I could you say something like that. Truth be told, I don't really know what Frost Nova's life was like as a child. She'd been brought up well. It was probably all right. Ooh, ooh, assumptions. Don't let any child experience the things I did. You've been brought up well, too. I don't want to talk about it. Tulula, none of us know the bitter things the world has in store for them, nor whether those things will be even more absurd than what we've already seen. Probably, yeah, pro probably, probably, <laughs> probably. You know what they say about assumptions. Well, that's depressing. It's also the reason I want to be a teacher. My teacher wasn't anything like you, for sure. I get what you mean now. You're saying maybe Frost Nova also had, well... Who knows? No two infected li live in identical lives. Question um, on lore-wise, just because I don't I don't recall if it's ever been said. And maybe it's not known, but what is the general, like, time frame of people from, like, start of their infection to, like, either, like, full infection or just, like, death by uh, oropathy? Do they, do they ever really say? Because I just know that, like, people get in, they're like, well, this is a death sentence, this sucks, and I might, like, jump off a roof or something. Or, you know, seppuku it. Future banner schedule is bonkers. Do you mean, like, just other new characters that are coming out? Stormy, what's up, dude? Welcome in. How's your weekend? Thank you so much for stopping by. What you been up to? Hello, hello. We're just going through chapter 8 here. I don't recall what uh, mission we're on. I'm sorry. It's like, 8-6, maybe? 8-7? <clears throat> I know you and her fought. What about after that? Took took until her anger abated before she told me she wasn't the one responsible. And that leaves only one person who could have been. You're right on the mark, yes. Wasn't too long after our scuffle finished. That out from another end of the city came a person. Is remembering it that much effort? 
Depends on the person, severity of exposure and other factors. Some are really old, others die quickly. Oh, interesting. So it's just very... That's that's really shitty. That, that really sucks. They're just like, well, could happen at any time, I guess. Can I for the incoming update for Arknights? The one this week? Yeah, you pull in for shoe. We'll be pulling for shoe. I need a new pair of shoes. Haha. <laughs> See what I did there? I just came up with that. But um that's gonna be the stream title when we pull for her. I should say that first impression was too shocking. I'm scrambling to find the words for you. The broad midday light spilled over his body, but couldn't melt away the black star. In the middle of telling Frost Nova about my project, I'd gotten up to where I was in contact with the infected in other cities. I wanted to assemble the funds to construct a seek construct or seek out an all scale uh, small scale nomadic city and invited them to join the project. I saw his shadow and keep speaking. What stopped you? I'm not that confident in myself. Not that confident. I've never seen you short of confidence before. I mean, this was Patriot. You couldn't talk him over. I still haven't to this day. You already know all the rest. After Frost Nova and I had our friendly discussion, our group successfully joined with the gorillas. Good for us. All, all else aside, after hearing we could go with the gorillas, plenty of our infected were happy beyond belief. All these last two years have been better to us than before. You made a good choice. You're finally in the right, Tallulah. This was two years. They just did a two-year time skip where they were traveling with um, Frost Nova and Patriot. Dude, how wait, hold on. How much longer until we catch up to modern times? Because like, how old was Frost Nova then when they met? Was she like 10? Because we know she was 16 in modern times. She looks like roughly the same. Maybe she's like 12? So she'd be like 14? I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. We'll also be pulling for shoe as well. Hopefully I get her early to have pulls for the collab afterwards. Ooh, there's a collab after. Ooh, man. Well, manifesting, you know, shoe wanters will be shoe havers. That's what that's what we say. Best of luck. But also, yeah, I hope you're feeling better, dude. I mean, the way I see it, the gorillas definitely didn't care about me or the other infected fighters. They just couldn't ignore the rest of the infected traveling with us. And that's even less reason to be down about it. You thought the same way after all. It's been two years. The situation hasn't made any headway at all. Think about it this way, Tallulah. From what moment did you start feeling Patriot didn't approve of you? Over a year ago. Not long after we joined up with the gorillas. All the way until now. Another Rainbow Six collab? <gasps> That's cool. There she is. <clears throat> Not happening. I don't even know how many more infected there are out of the Tundra under Ursus's wretched rule. Too early to yet to be talking with the gorillas about the infected in the cities. I'm not intending to abandoning the Tundra's infected. Why Why would I have brought them with me otherwise? Sooner or later will come the day when we return. Our objective is to have Ursus. No, the entire world's infected come together. We may be in differing places, but our lack of resignation to our circumstances is one and the same, indistinguishable. A friend of mine in a certain city calls that kind of behavior reunion. <gasps> calls on the infected to come together, naming it the reunion movement. <gasps> Wait, she wasn't the founder? What? And on. A read rerun? Ooh. Who is the Rainbow Six um, sniper girl? Ash or something? She seems cool. I used her in IS once. Okay, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on. Who are you talking about? Aiming at the reunion movement, revolving around one identical belief. Protest... Uh, protesting against Ursus' cruel rule over the infected. Maybe we should get the chance to protest the Ursus soldiers on the tundra about the exploitation of the mines, but I can't say it make me make them turn over a new leaf. Tulula, forget the common people for a moment. Talk about the soldiers. The Ursus army wouldn't let a single one of us go. If you want to go south to protest, we could just save ourselves the trouble and find a division to kill us. Ursus is not a single-minded entity. This is our chance. What the reunion movement aims to do is pass on the belief, but I see even more opportunities in it. We have our own signal to send. What signal? You are not alone. <gasps> oh. You know better than I do that staying in the tundra is a life of attrition, eating away our eating away at our strength. We need to go beyond it. I don't decide this stuff. You're still not willing to decide it. The price of leaving is death, and my life never had much use outside of taking down an Ursa soldier or two. What about the people around us? 
Absolutely, you haven't got brothers and sisters by your side. I'm not going to let mine throw away their lives. But I think other part's right. Which part? Telling the infected they're not alone. We spent too much time on one thing here in the tundra. Seeking friends. But linking up with the city's infected. I guess people from the big city really do like to dream a little bigger. I don't need you mocking me yet, Frost Nova. I'm not mocking you. You're so strong. You've taken a lot, taken all of them a long, long way just like us. But it's a dream going south. Trust me. The gorilla force grows, but we're infected. I think it's so funny. I feel like it's a very common trope in um, in a lot of forms of media where, you know, the, the people that are like very used to their northernmost, like really cold environment, um, you know, they, they like live in the snow or whatever. And, you know, much of the world is obviously not like that. Them, they're all like, no, 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 it's dangerous to go south. Don't go south. You'll regret it. You know, one that comes to mind is uh, like Game of Thrones, like literally like in like the first episode, they're just like, nope, nope, don't go, don't go south. It's going to be a problem. Don't go south. And then suddenly the whole sequence of events starts to start the entire show. Thank you, man. IS2. I, oh, sorry. I said IS, IS once, I think. Sorry. <laughs> yes, I did. I did use her in IS2, I believe. Yeah, she seems kind of cool. The guerrilla forces grows, but we're infected. We don't have many years left in your alliance. We need plenty of years, at least. And that's precisely why, Dad. <gasps> there he is. There he is. That's the boy. He's back. He's back. Ah, uh, Mr. Patriot. Patriot sits down by the bonfire like Tallulah simulated over and over in her mind. Patriot simply sits down wordless and gazes into the fire. You're good. Keep going. <gasps> this art's so cute. Oh my god, look how small she looks. <gasps> look how small she looks. Dude, his like... This guy has aura. Dude. Look at his fucking aura. Insane. Also, Tulu's actually really cute. I love her uniform. Ah, look how big her ears are. Look how big her ears are. Do you guys see? <gasps> Precisely because we don't have many years left. South has fields of bumper crops, suitable temperatures, four seasons to sell apart, and all sorts of fresh food. Resources, educations, prospects, and a future. Future? Rasnova, there's every likelihood I know that what you're thinking. What I'm thinking is written on my face. I don't know anything you'd call a future. Hey, hey, Miko, what's going on? Welcome in. Happy Monday. How was your weekend? Yeah, I'm not sure what you guys are talking about, but we'll get there soon enough, I'm sure. I'm just fangirling over this art. Why is the CG always so good? May not have much time left at all. There's only so many places that let us set foot. But the infected should have a future. For the future infected, or for those who come after us. Rosnova will find those infected a home. Somewhere Ursus and the infected patrol unit won't disturb. Somewhere the Ursus armies can't surround. And you know for sure taking the infected with us would get in the way of the gorilla's operations. But we won't abandon them. It'll be a seriously difficult path. He's very well spoken considering the fact that she's like, whatever it is, like 12 or something. At the very least, what hopes we bring about before we, before we die can be left to others. And if we overthrow Ursus's present system over the infected, everything will change. We're thin on the ground. If you weren't an infected, would you shake my hand? We'd start from a handshake in that case. What you're saying is probably. Dad, where are you going? I've had enough. Bro. Come on. What is this? You like, can't teach an old dog new tricks type deal? Oh, come on, bro. Sir. Hey. Don't mind it too much. Man. He was probably just thinking it over. He's been thinking it over for ages, if so. It's been two years, and the only conversations he ever had have been about team comp composition and following plans. He's never once asked me about anything to do with the project. Delula, no matter if he's ridiculing you or opposing you, uh, th not that I think he's the type to really ridicule other people, uh, you're still going to wait forever, am I right or not? If we want to leave the tundra, we need the power of the gorillas. I'll keep at it. Because he's the hope of the tundra's infected? I thought she didn't say things like that. I mean, you never... You don't say things like that, right? 
I just want to know what your thought process is like. I think it's because he's the symbol of the Tundra's infected unit, Unite Behind. A symbol with no way of passing on to the next generation. Damn. That's true, though. I, he, he's got that... He, he's got that Ursus Riz. He's got that Ursus... You know? Ooh, the music change. Very interesting uh, philosophy of revolution and social reform here. True. No, it's... It, it is interesting because um it's definitely it's definitely you know like the the old man hears like these you know we'll say radical ideas and he's just like oh yeah another dreamer full of ignorance you know ignorance is bliss kind of thing um but there's the feasibility of it all which is what patriot hesitates over do they actually have the strength to back their words like how he tested us in chapter seven Ooh. Interesting parallel there, Mika. Mmm, very attentive. We're almost there. Uh-oh. Get up. How long are you planning to stay there? You gave me a chill, you goddamn white rabbit. I don't care how... I don't care how stick-thin you are. Don't tell me this cold front's too much for you. Sure weren't saying that when you iced these Ursus weapons. Brothers and sisters would draw. Let them follow. Draw out the mine guards. Just hold on until the shield guards can support us. Don't lose hope. Pace, pick it up faster. The gorillas are in place to mine. The guards double teamed. How do you figure? Wait, those strange originium ornament, or, ornaments. Did the gorillas arrange those? Those were set up for my father. The Ursus army isn't pursuing us anymore. Seems like they're really not a fan of what those entail. Wait, are they? Is some kind of sarcasm thing? The sarcasm ceremony. These two are the best we could make with what we had on hand. Patriot is. Is Patriot here? You said it yourself. You were expecting our team to be surprise attacked, and if we wanted to annihilate their whole company, of course we'd come up short if we only relied on our squad. They're already beginning to rout. Have you ever seen my father in battle before, Tulula? <gasps> oh, that would have been a perfect cut into the battle. It's a good bit soon. Four stages. Man, how long is this? <laughs> The him, it's him. Why did none of us? Why, why did none of you say he was here? Uh, retreat, uh, retreat! Just forget them, forget them. Oh wait, hold on! He's coming from the rear. The, the what's all this in front of us? Hello, uh, 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 hello! Uh, say something! Say something! Ooh, aura. Till those local troops let loose their violence upon him, the sarcasm who towered all over the others makes no move, nor does he make a sound. Yet, Tulula here is laced through the north wind of the tundra, something not unlike cries. The shudders of the world itself at wickedness cowering back step after step before the wendigo. I think it's so crazy how big Homie actually is. Like, I didn't realize it until there was that, I want to say it was the music video that we watched. Um, dude is a giant. He's like two and a half Amios or something. Like, that is, dude is an absolute force. You see him strutting up there. You're like, bro, what are you doing here? The Lakers need a center. And, you're like, and he's just like, death. Note the formatting. I uh, hadn't gotten to his throat as bad yet. Yes, I did notice there wasn't as many periods, but he's not talking that much anyway. But yes, you're right. He's less of a computer. Patriot stands fast and casts towards the tundra a long halberd. And in the gloom of the sky that knows only devour all life suddenly a chasm is cut oh. cuts a chasm ayo war sprawling without seas he can talk coherently Ooh. Ooh. the origin materials i asked you to prepare in advance do you have them on you if not fall back my father's witchcraft doesn't separate enemy from ally anyone's life can be sucked away they don't prepare properly. Patriot would be the only living thing on the battlefield. I have the materials on me. I also applied the paints to myself, just like you told me. Anything else to worry about? No, you're good. We sh were short. We were short on resources this time, so we just put up a simple installation. Thanks to our secret protective measures, I skipped the line. But if it was a properly constructed altar, then no matter what tricks you tried, you wouldn't escape the witchcraft's effects. Nobody lived to tell the tale. Get ready. Tulula, count yourself lucky. Lucky my father standing with us. Tundra infected on our side. Ooh. What, what the hell? Being? What are you? Armored caster? 
Jesus Christ, what the crap is this? Bro. Tallulah, go. Oh, oh, yeah, you can kill him. Don't worry. Tallulah, you got this. Tallulah's got it. Easy mode. Let's put you here. Can't buy. I'll start to make some money. Let's get Golden Glow out real quick. Why not, right? Music seems a little loud. Sorry. Tulula will win. It doesn't look like she is, actually. Yo, we are not killing them very quickly. Um. Of course, you can't reach. Um. Okay, Reed. Start blasting them. Good job, Reed. You'll be able to heal Tallulah as she walks by. Myrtle, get, get some money going. Here we go. Bro, Golden Glow's just carving a path. You got this, Tallulah. Protect Halasi? Why would you say that? Why, why, why would you say that? <laughs> go, Tallulah. Go quicker. You're getting hit by the altar. Can't be healed by medics? Oh shit, really? <laughs> Wait, but, but, but maybe I can get a global heal then. Patriot is two and a half Amias, then he's 355 centimeters in freedom units. That should be 11.8. Bro. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Thank you for converting it to freedom units. Now I understand what you're talking about. Bro, that's nuts. So dude's dummy thick. All right, we're going to kill this guy. Does he need? Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Okay, good thing I brought Cora, I guess. Let's, break, let's pop Pajemka out here. There we go. All right, yo, Tallulah, you want to take a few more steps over there? Ami with ears. Oh, that's a good point. Does it include Ami's ears or is it just to the top of her head? All right, well, I'm, gl I'm glad I slotted in uh, Quora, I guess. All right, Tallulah, baby girl, go kill him, please. What are you doing just standing there? I'll have the typewriter kill this guy, I guess. Do you get healed by Perfumer? No. Using bottles? Um, no, I don't think so. I think I'm, I think I'm on the nuker skill. No ears, 142 centimeters. That seems pretty small. Fellas, bro, bro, you gotta kill these guys. Tallulah, what are you doing just standing there? <laughs> You're supposed to kill him. Nah, nuker skill is where it's at, bro. That one's so nice to use. I guess I could, like, just put horn right there. Be a little silly. Actually, you know what? We could get silly. Let's get silly. Go Horn. Get silly. Horn's gonna end up dying, I bet. Tal isn't motivated. What does she need to... What are you talking about? Get motivated, bro. All right, start blasting Horn. Go. Boom, 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 boom. Ka-chow, ka-chow. Horn's gonna die. Bagpipe's out here slaying, though. Oh, wait, hold on. How'd she get fully healed? I don't know how she got fully healed. Oh, no, then she died. I'll protect you, queen. You're good. You got this. Keep going. My only couple left. God, I'm motivated. But it's a civilian that can attack. No healing at all. Oh, interesting. All right, well, yeah, she's a good kind of civilian, I guess. All right. Thank you for your assistance, Mr. Halula. You want to leave the tundra? You will be crushed under the army of Ursus. Dad, why right now? Didn't we already? The shield guards have gone, have already gone to collect treasures. Take the squad, order them all to move. All right. You and your project will get everyone killed. 
Lula realizes this is the first time the giant before her has personally issued his opinion. Even if the opinion is no shock, it still shakes her to the bone. In the northwestern tundra can't keep us alive forever. The larger our group grows, the more food and energy supplies we need. And the villages that revile, revile us far outnumber the ones that support us. One reason of moss... One season of moss so it's each year. Even if we all pitch in for the tilling, how much more would he harvest in the end? Will our fields be destroyed by the patrol unit? The gorillas can easily dispose of them, but the other infected can't. You are hastening their deaths. Our only choice is to leave the tundra. Not for Sammy, not for the barons. We'll head east, head south, head for warmer places. How will you survive? How will you allow us, so numerous, to survive? The gorillas save people. The gorillas sacrifice none but ourselves. Only warriors sacrifice themselves. But there are infected in every city and their surroundings. So many more than there are in the tundra. You permanently protect the north, testing all the infected up the north endure. So you've had little chance to understand the kind of life the infected in the south have. Do they live well? They live miserably. You want to absorb them. I intend to unite with them. When the empire turns its gaze to the infected, you will bear the brunt. I don't want them to unite by my side, no. I want them to unite under one encompassing philosophy. I like that. I like that. I like that. That was a good line. That was a good line because uh, it's like she's kind of like she she mentioned it a little bit in her conversation with Anita. What's her, what's her name? Anita. Anita Maxween. Anita Maxween. Um. I think that was her name, or Anila, whatever her name was. Anita Maxween. And um and she was talking about how, you know, obviously, like, you know, she's not gonna live forever. She needs to, you know, like get people to just join the idea. But um, it'll be interesting to see uh how that idea of philosophy and like, you know, the the ideas uh carries forward. Hmm. Because that's what she's trying to get people to buy into, not necessarily her. She just she just happens to be the person at the front uh, at this current time. But obviously not forever. Philosophy. The infected are taken as sawdust on the tundra, as slag in the mines, as warnings in the villages, as unknown fuel in the cities. The tundra infected are certainly not ignorant nor foolish. We do not cradle fantasy. All philosophies are fantasy before they are put into practice. On the tundra, there are still mines, patrol forces, foolish and lackadaisical guards. We have places to obtain our resources. Resources throughout this icy tundra will sooner or later be exhausted because we have no method of extracting our own. We have no enduring mobile nomadic city, no, spe no specially qualified catastrophe messengers. Go to the city. We have nothing at all. We will earn new friends. Who are your friends? I recognize your project has merit to it, but at the same time, it is also nothing special. How many strategists have died frustrated on the tundra? You speak of it, and I see no reason it could be done, nor on what it would be realized. Why could the last emperor make the land tremble? Because he held fast to it, never talking of any wild, far-flung vision. He only walked in steps, which you cannot do. Ooh, she's angry. Sir. You say I may be crushed by the armor of the Ursus, and I concede that. They could sooner or later turn their attention to us here. There will always come a day when they catch us. None of us can escape it. Let them come. Is that how you approach it, sir? The tundra would prepare you for battle. You are seeking a new battlefield. I'm looking for a chance to win. As far as so many more infected go are concerned, that's hope. But to fighters like you and me, that's a crossroads. The only crossroads where we can break from our intrinsic strategy. To wander the tundra in the end is still nothing more than a slow death. Much like the little life we have left as infected, I need to repeat this point over and over because we're all fully aware of it. Perhaps my daughter is convinced by you, but I will not be convinced by someone who has never lost hope in the truest sense, who has never, who has only ever spouted an empty mis miscellany of armchair strategies. Oof. That's true. She is preaching ideals that, you know, seem a little too, uh, too good to be true. You know what they say, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. That's how you stay out of pyramid schemes. <clears throat> Tallulah, where are you going? I'm fine, just going to check if there are any survivors in the mines. The gorillas have already set out, and the village is starting to move too. The army isn't following our tracks either. Dad, what's up with you? <laughs> 
just a normal cough. He's dying. His throat. A rustling sound. Is somebody there? I know you're all here. You're not with the army. You haven't broken a twig with your steps. I mean, you no harm. If you're not infected, I'll leave you be. Unless you need assistance. Uh, don't come any closer. Uh, don't move. If you do, I'll shoot. Ah. Uh. Man. Who's the timid child? Is this, uh, is this Faust? Doesn't she also spout ideals and philosophy? You're right. You're right. I said that very early on. I, I said that very early on that it's all quite a matter of perspective and whose side you uh you see first because the funny part is is if you if you took um if you took this part right here if you took chapter eight and you put that as chapter one the entire game is very different when it starts from the perspective of Tallulah as opposed to Amia and that's why I hate it so much. I fucking hate this game. <sighs> she, she's infected, Sasha. My odds can drive infected away. I don't... Oh my god, I don't remember what voice I gave Faust. It's been so long. I feel like he... Hmm. No black and white, everything's gray. Completely gray. You hate it? Why do you keep playing it then? Because I'm I'm a glutton. I'm a glutton for pain, I guess. No, it's just well written. <clears throat> Can't use your arts. Sasha, get out of here already. We, we were just getting things from the mines. We, we don't want to kill anyone. Uh, I'll shoot. You, you'll die. Sasha, oh, you, when you say that. How long have you gone without eating? Why do you care? We're in the vicinity of a militarized mine, you wouldn't dare light a fire. The way you shake makes me think of wheat being sifted. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Don't be scared. Kululi grasps a branch with one hand. Softly, gently, she hands this branch to the two children. And with it, sparks, small sparks dance out. Ah. You... It's warmer now, isn't it? That's right, I really am infected. Stockholm Syndrome. Oof. Oh, are they the kids that were running around? Oh. oh. So that's how it happened. That's how you found Sasha and Eno. They were never willing to talk about their past. If we never found them, they certainly they would have certainly passed away. Perhaps Eva, ever since Patriot refuted me, it was the one bit of good I'd done. So what's happened today, then? I was careless with my arts during training. Rosnova's cloak was hung up nearby, and they spread to it. Now she's out for my life. Did you promise you'd help sew it back up? Tell the truth, Alina. Oh, whatever. Give it to me. Knowing you, I'm scared you'd sew, it, sew yourself to it. Don't you want to join our group? If we have your gift with words, there's a decently better chance I'll talk Patriot over. I told you before, Tallulah, my arts would be useless with the gorillas. I can stand the blood, but I don't want the initiative to harm people my I don't want the initiative to harm people myself. You'll be facing much more than just the infected patrol unit soon enough. I suppose if I had dragged you along, I'd been bothering you too much. Ah, uh, you put it that way on purpose, didn't you? No, I don't remember don't remember wrong now. It was I who wanted to go with you. Yes. Girlfriends. Fruity AF. <clears throat> and up to now, it's been for one reason. It's because, Tulula, I feel like there's every chance you'd forget. Forget what? Forget just what it is you want to do. Uh, oh, 
hold on, 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 Is she saying... No, hold on. Let me cook a little bit. Is she saying that she reminds Tallulah of what her main objective is? Her being there by her side keeps Tallulah in check a little bit. And coincidentally, puts my hand on my chin, stretches as I think. Coincidentally, uh, Alina's not um, around anymore. And uh, Tulula might go a little bit onto the into the deep end. Does she does she lose her sense of self when her girlfriend's not there anymore? <sighs> Damn it. That's sad. Been striving all this time for the future of the infected. That's not what she said back at the very start. Tulula, we all know people can change. If bit by bit we shake ourselves clean of all the things we pers persevered with, or if we replace them with something new, then there's a certain point when we realize we just haven't persevered in anything, right? In the constant battle with things changing all the time, it's only natural I'd alter my policy. If rigor sets into our thinking, it could very well make us weaker. All will be revealed, I know, but uh, I can't help but yap, you know? But where'd that stubborn part of you go? Do you want to prove that the infected are just like normal people, or do you want to prove that normal people are just like the infected? What's the difference? If there's only you infected, then who's even a normal person? W would we want all people to catch oropathy or to cut ourselves off completely from the normal people? But if there were only normal people, no infected, then the people who caught oropathy would be normal people underneath, normal like the people who haven't. Elders are just normal people. Ancients are just normal people. Villagers who all know each other are normal people. And whoever's living in the cities would be normal people all the same. Lula, do you want to return to your family? You're all my family. No, we aren't. If we cleared all this orpathy off our skin, would we be able to go back home? You and I are of a mind on this. We couldn't. The tundra and our lives have completely changed us. The infected have already no way of returning to their former lives. Hmm. Tulula, do you feel proud of yourself for being infected now? Why would you ask? Because you can cast arts without a staff? Because our lives are so fleetingly short? Because even though we've gone through so much hardship, we can still persevere and live on? What reason would you choose? I don't need to choose any, Alina. I'm proud just to be an infected because this world still hasn't killed me yet. And for that matter, we don't need anything to cause our pers uh, to cause us to pursue fairness. We should should have been pursuing fairness in the first place, and that's why. And if the world won't give it, we'll just have to take it, fr take it from it. Then you really are brave. Oh, she's so cute. You're not laughing at me, are you? Of course not. How could I? Mm, well, I feel they're all brave too. All the people struggling against the fate that's been forced on us. Then I'm sure you feel... <laughs> feel what? That our fates are just rotten. Well, obviously. I don't feel that way, Tallulah. That's another of your ironic remarks, Selena. No, what I mean is the fact that I can sit here talking with you knowing we have our guards outside the village protecting us. Fate has already been very kind to me. Don't say that. Fate's a jealous one. Talking about those things is just tempting it to take them away. Did I jinx her? But I don't believe in fate, Tallulah. Because you can change it? Because I can't see it. Oh, bro, not the I don't believe in it if I can't see it mindset. Come on now. <gasps> Look how close they're sitting. Jesus Christ. Tulula, what you can see, what you can touch, those are the things you can rely on. And I can see the cloak I'm holding in my left hand, I can see the candlelight, and I can see the needle I'm holding in my right. Oh, is she fixing uh, Frost Nova's thing? I can see the infected children's smiles, and I can see the white smoke of vegetables roasting fragrantly, wafting through the air. I can see the snow melting, and I can see the two moons dancing spry in the clear night sky. And then there's people who can't see even these. Tulula... If there came a day when we all left you, would you still be able to fight on? What do you mean? It could always happen. If that time came, would you still feel it was worth it to stand against fate? Oh. 
Could you possibly think this is just too much? I can't do anything anymore. Patriots taught me anything, but one lesson comes to mind from a long time ago at that. I wouldn't bow my head. It sneers at me, and I'll be certain to burn it to ash. You're a blockhead, Tallulah. That or you're getting old. Hey. Only old people get to say that stuff without coming off as naive. Because if someone's gotten old as old gets and still keeps that outlook all the way, it just means they've gone through far, far too much to the point the world's left its bitter vestiges on their body. It allows them no rest in passing the remainder of their life. And they're living in the desert of the past. If it were me, I wouldn't even have the courage to take the first step. If I were that old and had gone that much arrogance, I'd be taking the events of the past and stabbing myself with them every single step I took. I can't even imagine it. Stuck in the sands of memory, all of the past, how does a person even know they're still moving forwards? What kind of resilient spirit does it take to let them make the first step unlike they've made before? I feel you've been hinting at something this entire time. I said I've known a lot of what he's done, but I still don't truthfully know Mr. Patriot at all. I've never spoken a single word to him. And if you say that's him, why not? Oh, did I just mess up who said that? No, we're good. No, we're good. We're good. If you say that's him, well, why not? Let it be him. If Mr. Patriot, you're fast to substitute. Ahem. Unlike all the old age warriors, young people can much more easily forget things, give up on things, forgive themselves. Do you feel I'm only fighting for the things I can see? Or maybe you're telling me that it might not be right? Compared to the things you told me back when we left the village, it's just too shallow. In these few short years, you've already become an outstanding leader, but it's not entirely a good thing for you. You can't let yourself stop here, can you? If righteousness can only be upheld by greater and greater violence, can it even be called righteous still? These words have rolled around in my head for years and years now. For so many years, I've been constantly thinking it over. Probably haven't gotten it straight yet, but I've been thinking it over and over. All right, then. Let's throw fate... Let's throw fate at making stands at all these other words we were talking about out the window. What is it you want to teach us today, Professor Alina? Hey, are you that flippant with Frostnova too? Don't joke about that. Frostnova would freeze, us both, freeze both our mouths shut. Taking you, for example, to Lula, you wouldn't fight just to defeat what enemies you see, right? The patrol unit, the mine overseers, the drafted soldiers following our trail, the Ursus Minister of Medicine. If you defeated all those, would we be victorious? Since all these are awful things, then what, so why do we need to defeat them? Professor Alina wants me to do battle with things I can't see. How would I def defeat them then? The things you can promise. Warmth, food, bedding. These are all things you'll be able to touch uh, on some day or another. Think, think things unlike those. This battle of ours probably won't bear results. It's likely we have no way to win. I'm already not that fond of making promises. Things too far away are near as good as, as me playing tricks. If we can never win, then should we still fight? Haven't I asked you before? When that time comes, would you still feel this fate is worth you making a stand against it? On case this is all over. Oh. Once this once this is all over, you won't even be able to so much as see your enemies. You'll share those enemies with all those people who can't see a future. And then that's when the true battle's really just begun. He's very well spoken. You mentioned that spirit, those enemies, and that Things that can carve into ours and Earth's people's bones. The Emperor? The Emperor's just one form of it. As long as people won't lay down their blades, this conflict will never end. I don't quite agree. People taking up their blades to fend off what causes them strife is just the thing to do. You're not wrong. Honestly, this conflict is the sort of thing that'll never end in my eyes. Thanks to Mr. Patriot's blessing, I've read no small amount of Lithanian and Victoria books. I very much liked what this one person said. Our war is a war against the ego. It's true, to Lula as you'll never lay down the swords in your grips. They will never lay down the needle in your grasp. And that wraps up our lesson today. There's almost nothing left I can really teach you. Oh, uh, what did I want to say? Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Erm. Um, what line was it? It was a little before here. It was right around here. 
If there came a day when we all left you, would you still be able to fight on? That was a long conversation. It, it was it, it was a it was a good conversation though, so it went pretty quick. I was just I just had trouble finding the part that I wanted to to go back to. Um, if there came a day when we all left you, would you still be able to fight on? It could always happen. If that time came, would you still feel it was worth it to stand against fate? Rafi, thank you for the hydrate. I really like that line because I don't know for sure how much it resonates with Tallulah or if it really applies, but I don't know why I took that hydrate right in the middle of my, my sentence. Um, but I'd like to think that this like current day self-sabotage of um of reunion is almost like an excuse to like reach that point it's it's so like Tallulah actually is able to like choose to not fight on anymore like you know if if everyone's gone she has nothing you know nothing else to fight for so she can finally be done like that sort of thing you know does that make sense that was a that was some that was a lot of words that might not have amounted to anything. I can try and re-say it if you need. <sighs> the children should be studying right now. There's some knowledge they should have by tomorrow. Tallulah, Kashi wanted you to be a sage, but people all make mistakes. When you fall over, you climb back up. But if he won't let you fall over, then all you can do is be a little careful about things. Same as when you're confronting Patriot. In all honesty, I don't see him and you as two different kinds of people. You both already believe too strongly in your own ways. I can't let those any... Can't let those any of those can't let any of those lively little creatures go around saying things like you're right and he's wrong. No, Lena, I can't go and do something I don't even believe in myself. That's true. It's another one of the tricks with which Kashi bound you, exploited you. You're just saying there's no way I can wipe him out, right? It's a sort of idea after all. We probably don't have much chance of wiping out an idea, but I'm still just that bit confident. Confident in what? If we're still by your side when that time comes, we'll definitely be able to pull you back. It doesn't matter what kind of arts Kashi had, we'll definitely have a way of breaking them down. There's always something we can do. Man. In this battle, we'll start from words and language. Start from the next moment. Start from a facial expression. We'll start from now. They'll know what mushrooms are safe to eat, how to raise livestock, how to get better a little sooner if you catch a cold. We'll try and try, try and try not to lose. <laughs> and I believe in you. You will have the chance to talk Patriot over. I'll just force myself to take that as encouragement. I'm done sewing. You can give it to her. I can tell she really cherishes this cloak. It looks like the one the army made, and it's three layers inside, three layers outside. Made makes it seem really big. Oh, so Frost Nova is really small. Okay, so she's. She is just equally as small. She just wears a cloak that makes her look big. <laughs> Probably is an army cloak, that, or it's... Ah. Out of all the reasons Mr. Patriot keeps fighting, we just might have found one of them. Thank you, Alina. Wait. What is it? Uh, I'm about to prepare tomorrow's lesson. It's a drawing lesson, so they're all looking forward to it. I'll bring back two brushes for you next time. I mean, what I want to say... What I want to ask is, do you really not want to get to know Frost Nova and the others? The fighters all know we have a good few infected teachers. It's just that you've been keeping yourself tucked away all. Not right now, Tallulah. Once that infected common ideal of yours becomes reality, we'll naturally come to know each other then. And besides, we're all fighters, just on different battlefields. We'll know all about each other sooner or later, won't we? Mm -hmm. You're right, Alina. Infected fighter Alina. Man. Infected fighter Alina. I can't believe that that was a not a story stage for how long it was. <laughs> All right. Carried by a tire. Yo, she better get she, that cloak. Better have good stats if she wears that all the time. Probably does. I don't know. Actually, you know, I, in in a lot of games, in a lot of games where you can customize your attire, I normally go for drip over stats. I always find drip to be more important. Sometimes in Elden Ring, I'll pop on some things that'll give me better stats, but a lot of times I just go for drip. Like the Burger King helmet that we wear. <laughs> it is also it also does have good stats. That's just episode eight in a nutshell. It's fine because it is really good. 
stats. Come on, Kibo. Come on. You gotta you gotta look snazzy while you're fighting out there. Important. You gotta you gotta be the goofball that shows up in cutscenes and sticks out like a sore thumb. M8-5. Reunation long awaited. Re ruination? Ruination. Of transmogs. Wait, what's transmogs? I feel like I've heard that before, but I can't think of what it is. Looking cool is the most important thing. I agree. If you if you ain't got drip, what's the point? That's what I say. <laughs> With enough effort, drops of water can pierce through stone. Everything you've experienced will coalesce into the truth and spread across this land. Nana, what the? Hey, Nana. How's it going? Welcome in. How are you? What's up? That's why I've put so much money into League skins. That's not the point I was making. <laughs> That's not what I was trying to say. Transmog being able to make your armor look however you want while still being the high level. Yes. Okay. No, that's a that's a great uh, feature. More games need to do stuff like that. Poe character, bro. Not not Path of Exile. Unbelievable. Don't. Uh, Path of Exile is just so overwhelming from the outside. One look at that skill tree is enough to make me projectile vomit all over all of my monitors. I don't think I could ever play that game. I'm sorry. I hope you enjoy it, though. I've heard good things. I've watched people play it. It seems like it is fun, but it's it's one of those things where it's like you need to either be so invested or have been playing for so long, which I guess would make you so invested. Just follow a guide? No, I don't. No, <laughs> I don't like looking up guides for games. If I if it could be avoided. What's up, Nana? How's your day going? How's uh, how was stream earlier? What'd you get up to? Also, if you guys aren't following uh, Nana, do yourself a favor. Nana actually actually streaming again on a somewhat frequent basis. <gasps> what the? That's crazy. But I hope your day's going well. Thanks so much for stopping by. What you been up to? We are playing Arknights. When are you hopping back on Arknights? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lean? Okay, just kidding. Don't. I don't even know. I, I, I shouted out a League streamer. Can you believe this? Can you believe this? How are your games? Do you have any W's? Game becomes funnier if you follow a guide. At least you don't. At least what you don't know what you're doing. I guess it, that's fair. I don't know. It's 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 too much for me. I am too small brains. Of course, I did. don't. I don't say it as if you win all your games. Come on now. We've played games. I don't think we've won a single game together. So did you hop on Ark Knights when I can get Changue? It's like soon, right? Isn't it like very soon? For the for the smart Ark Knights players, when is Changue available again? Isn't it like next update? Or is it like this week? Or is it down the line a little bit more? When can I get him with three hundred dollars? Well, you see, uh -huh. two days. You got two days. See, you hop. See, we see. Look, look, look. No, no. What you got to do is you hop on. You grab. You grab your. Uh, you grab all the free pulls that you get. There's daily pulls throughout the week, so you get a chance. You get a small chance, but you're gonna build up that pity. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a donothon, where you just start streaming league, and for every win everyone watching needs to donate five dollars and then all of a sudden if you're the gamer god that you say you are you'll win don't have to... <laughs> that would be such a sad desperate attempt uh imagine and be like hey guys so the swire reruns coming up uh so we're doing a donathon coincidentally ha 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 um <laughs> i'll never have a special banner again Oh, true. Yeah, so I don't think he'll ever be featured, so that will be the best way to do it. Hey, guys. Lost my pity. Emergency Donathon. Yeah, opening up emergency commissions. Um, I really need this uh, gotcha character. Just kidding. Don't... Don't, <laughs> don't do that. But, um, but hey, listen. At least... Si listen. Sign on and get those free pulls for each day. At the very least, you have a small chance of getting him, and that's better than literally zero. But limited characters are dumb. Ooh, limited characters. We won. We won, fellas. We did it. We overcame. We're so back. 
All right, so let's keep going. We got a story to do. Guys, you want to hear something really tragic? I'm almost out of chapstick, and I don't think I have any more left. I don't think I have any chapstick left. Limited characters are dumb. They are dumb. The only limited character I own is four copies of Asia. I don't want her. I wanted Virtuosa. I would I would have liked Ros Mantis. I would have liked Texas Alter. I would have liked literally every single person. But alas. Welcome back, Doctor. Ooh. Hey yo. So Zoe's the hidden technique swiping. Uh I can't. I've done so good. I have done so good, you guys, at not swiping in gacha games for the past like few months. To the point where I don't have Jade and Honkai Star Rail, but I completely pre-farmed for her and I lost the 50-50 to Clara, which I'm not super I would have liked Welt because I don't have Welt and I do like Clara, but I wanted Jade and I don't think I'm gonna end up getting her as a result because I really don't want to spend money. Pot six Yato Altar and taxes. I'm really happy, bro. How much did it cost? Not the Asia Philia. That's such a terrible name for the emote. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I I really would rather not uh, swipe on uh, any gacha games. Zero, don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. I had money left. Ooh, impressive. Pulls left. Oh, still nicely done. All right, so back in modern times. Uh, so what's going on? The transmission went through. Captain, do you copy? I'm here. It's me. What's your status? Most of us are fine. We're trapped under this building at the moment, but we found an access hatch. We'll regroup with you if you find another exit. We disabled the restart function. Rest assured, we've got a very defensible position. Make your way here. We won't have to worry about getting caught flat-footed. But, bluish silver, she's... Ah. No, no, Rosmantis, wait. Focus on the mission. Don't come for us. You promised us before we set out. But keep your promise. We wouldn't have followed you into Chernobog without it. Remember our talk back when we joined your team? Listen to me, Rosmant, as we talked about how elite operators and the teams are all different. You can do so much. Your arts are so strong. There's not much we can do for you in a fight. But when you can't handle the burden, we'll share it with you. Just like Amya and the other elite operators. Wait, Amya is considered an elite operator? Why is this the first time we're hearing about this, I feel? I feel like it like it makes sense. I'm not like surprised by it, but the fact that they just haven't said it, like they've made it abundantly clear that all the other elite operators are indeed elite operators. Like, um, speaking of, uh, did you guys know that Blaze is an elite Rhodes Island operator? Oh, oh no, Blaze. Can you believe it? Blaze the cat, elite operator. I would have never guessed. I would have never known. <laughs> Just... It does, like I said, it does make sense that I'm yes, but... But you're my team. Calm down. Bluish Silver's last wish was that we help you grow as a warrior, not a soldier, and not a weapon. Captain, you get your job done. We'll make it out of here safe. Listen, Rosmantis, this might be hard to do, but it's what Bluish Silver wanted. You're not just an elite operator, you're Rosmantis. We all love you, not just your team, but Rhodes Island and the infected. Everyone who hates loss and destruction, we all love you. <laughs> so Captain, think about what Rosmantis would do, okay? Over and out, tell Amya hi for us. Man. Don't leave me, please come back. We will. They cut the transmission. What's the situation? Oh, Amia, um, yeah, we lost one member of our engineering team, but the rest are safe for now. Rosmantis, we need a little more firepower. The Gorilla Mortar team still needs supplies. We'll ambush them. Are you okay? Amia, um, yeah, after Ace died, what did you think? Oh, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, but I want to know. So sorry, I don't want to think too much about it. You want to run away too? No, it's just not the time to face up to it. Tears are for the end when it's all over. What the fuck? Uh, what is this? Tumblr. Is this that conversation? 
Rosmentis is the captain of her own squad because the Titanesis makes her crazy powerful even by Arc Knight standard, but she's also a child soldier. One member of the team is killed in an instant. Her power dynamic with her squad switches from a captain and her men to a child among adults. True. Yeah. Man. She should probably, like, not be a child soldier or something. I don't know. Just an idea. Man. No parents reassure kids there. Everything's going to be okay. Bro, what the flip? What's the literal flip? What the what the actual flip? Can't believe this. I only remember the very end. I was thinking that I didn't want to let him or any of our Rhodes Island operators die in vain. Good. Recon operator, tell me where I'm going. Reunion is totally out of control. Watch yourself. Because we're their enemy. Because everything is their enemy. Without an enemy to fight, sometimes people make their own. Oh, great. Here we go. Yaps it herself. <clears throat> it's been a while, uh, my dear ex-wife. How are you? How are you, sweetie? <clears throat> what are you worried about? Vanguard group attack. Uh, defender operators, cover them. Roger, hold fast. Uh, don't let them cut off the corridor. No further too scary. Don't hitch pain. Pain everywhere. That's an unpleasant infection symptom. You're no longer human. If you want to ask if I worry about Rosmantis, Ami, and their teams, that was not at all what I said, but sure, go right ahead. I have to confess there's no use worrying. We settled on the planet and it all runs on a predestined track. If you squeeze onto someone else's rail, you'll just end up derailing two trains. Very metaphorical. The herd doesn't like us pushing up. Stay focused. We want to pass through, not wipe them out. Clear them in waves. We don't have the capacity to take on an entire battlefield. I'm worried about Amia. Amia is a mature leader and an excellent fighter. She knows the team, the operation, and our objectives. Isn't that a little cold? Of course she doesn't respond. What is this? Pith? Who are you? Dude, your design's pretty raw. How did we get here? I don't think so. She's through all seven training segments and passed every test given to her. There were three in which she showed particular promise. I have no faith in casters like this. Cal said I pride myself on my skills with my arts and I hope to help others with it. That's not what Rosmantis is. Her originium arts are not those that serve to benefit mankind. I want her to fight but for one consideration. Rosmantis spends her whole life in the greenhouse. Her outburst once reality shatters. Her beautiful world would be catastrophic. You can't do it, I will. Hith. You and Ami have too much faith in the future. One misstep in someone else's future is gone forever. She's a, an IS character? Is she a sniper? Because I don't ever grab the, the snipers. I've gotten, like, scout and stuff before, I believe, though. Cool design. Caster? Maybe I have them. I don't know if I've ever seen the name Pith, though. Before we make a judgment like that, we have to at least try. I'm worried about a future that's beyond saving. For now, I'll have her serve as an elite operator. Not in the future, but now. Right now, we teach her, polish her, forge her strength into shape, hold her to the highest standards, and watch her stand firm in the face of catastrophe. Until there is nothing in the world that can shake her. Only then will she be free of the terrible fate that Columbian set out for her. Only then can she live, lead her own life. That is my goal. I knew you'd say something like that, Calcit. But who's responsible for her? I need you to work with me. I need the elite operators on this together. And I promise you I'll stake my life on it. We will see this through. Oh, she's an elite operator too. No way. Do we ever get to see a list of the elite operators? So who do we got? We got, we got Amia. That's one. We got... Uh, Rosmantis, that's two. We got, uh, I guess Blaze, but Bla Blaze, I think is, Blaze is a, Blaze is an elite operator, right? Yeah, so you got Blaze, Ace and Scout, and unfortunately they don't count because, you know, we got, uh, I guess Pith here, so that's four. Um, we got, who's the comms guy? Co Cosmopolitan or whatever the frick, Cosmo, 
The comms person, Sharp. Mechanis? Me Mechanis is an elite operator? I think I've used Sharp as well. Sharp is cool in IS. I don't remember who the comms person was. But, decent amount. I haven't seen Mechanis yet. I feel like I've heard about them, though. Wait, are you sure? Watch out. I'll take your word for it. All right. Tulip. You will not deeze nuts me. Oh. <laughs> I, th I thought it was... <laughs> I, I was on high alert. Thought someone was going to pull something. You can never be too sure. Like, oh yeah, don't forget about the elite operator, Deets. And you're like, oh, who's Deets? And it's like, Deets nuts. Oh... <laughs> Got him. I'm not like that. And listen, you can never be too sure. I don't know if I've heard of Tulip, though. Storm Eye. Oh, Storm Eye's the sniper one? Oh, gotcha. They'll appear later? Okay. Say less. Say less. I got something in my eye. You gotta give me a second. Ow. I am in misery. There is nobody that can... Comfort me, help me, please. Calcic, get this eyelash out of my eye. Oh my god, I hate my life. Ow. Alright, I'll be right back. I gotta go, like, figure this out. All right, we're good. I thought I muted my mic. I didn't, though. Oopsie. All right, we're good. Um, also, in other good news, I found that I have more chapstick. So we are so back, boys. We are so back. I just can't open it, so I guess I'll have to wait. All right. <clears throat> um, and I promise you, I stake my life on it. We'll see this through. Why what was this a random flashback about Rosmantis? A war cast in warmth and kindness is a much more dangerous form of war. I don't want to speak of such horrible cruelties, even if my fear should never come to pass. Ami and Rosmantis are in the care of Rhodes Island herself, and more directly, the elite operators who take responsibility for them. I'd never pull a D's nuts joke. I don't think anyone is fully never going to. Like how we've evolved as a species, but still get eyelashes and eyes. It's so infuriating. There's so many stupid things that we get that, you know, we, you'd think that we'd just be immune to, like hangnails. Hang, why are hangnails still a thing? Bro, they're just uh, stupid. That's that that's dumb. Um, uh, I don't know why that was the first one that came to mind. What? Like why 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 do we still why do we still get things like you know like allergies or why why do we still get uh you know like you know why why, why do why do I gotta blow my nose all spring you know what what is this does this just mean I'm built different but in the wrong way bit my tongue really hard last night oh that's the worst that's the worst at least um I remember hearing something at one point where it's like you know like you're your brain just like stops you from being able to actually like bite off your tongue or something weird or crazy like that. It's like, damn, I guess you're right. You're right. Brain works wonders. I'm trying to open my other chapstick. This is important. It's really important. Storm Eye's a worse BP. Blue Poison's cool. I regret the fact that I haven't used her in so long. Honestly, I think part of it is due in fact that I have so many snipers. But also, I'm disappointed in myself that I never got the CC skin. I did prioritize the cardigan one. Which was important. Alright, I can't open this chapstick. I hate my fucking white boy life. Five star Vermail, not Vermail. Actually, is Vermail good? I don't think so. I don't recall. Alright. <clears throat> 
Further, they are at the core of the squad strategy, Dr. Benny Bloom. Trust in them and trust in yourself. He's a little rodent. Elysium, what is he doing here? Bro, you can't just you can't just show you can't just show a femboy like this and not expect the crowd to go absolutely wild. Oh did I make fun of this cute boy? I think I did. Oh He got FedEx, didn't he? Mm -mm. Yeah, he got Oh, he got FedEx. I'm sorry. <clears throat> How exactly did I do it? Um, hey, Hawk, did you see that? How could I not? Shit, don't give us away. Why'd you ask me? You're the one making noise. I said, shh, you don't want the captain to chew you out. She can't talk. How would I know if she's chewing me out or if it's just you pretending for her? I wouldn't do that. I know. I mean, enough. I know you want to ask about this stuff. You've got all these weapons and armor cases and all that machinery laid out all nice. I was just, if it was laying around, I'd say I came up with a million Victorian pounds or so. Bet you two big ones that Ursa stuff. I saw goods like this when I was smuggling around Laval, this brand spanking new. You got the central course, but the other units can't have anything like this more than maybe five years. You think it makes any sense that Reunion could just elude all this equipment? I mean, the guys who go around swinging pice, I don't think they'd even know how to grease it. What about the gorillas? They're ex ursus army. How long ago did they desert? Those big heavy metal guys would sink if you pushed them into a lake. Even if they managed to bring some logistics units with them all those years ago, they'd probably all be dead by now. Think about it. With the stuff they're using now, it's a miracle if they can keep their plates wiped clean. Don't think with their hands on these weapons, I doubt they'd even know which end to point the enemy. You're making them sound like a bunch of idiots. Ignorance and idiocy aren't the same thing. Logistics is a skill as much as it is knowledge. The gorillas aren't dumb, but the odds that they'll come across some infected logistics officers eager to run off at them are pretty slim. Saving an infected officer from execution, that's a tall order. Look, the serial number's been filed off. Sure, a deserter might do that, but you know who else might? You might do it if you were trying to trick somebody. It wasn't done very clean. Just look at it. I can tell if... Yeah, I can tell what kind of file they use. Looks like someone who's short on time. But the most important thing for now. You have to tell them in quick whether or not it's useful info. What's up, Righto? How's it going, bro? Happy Monday. How you been? What you been up to? Hello, hello. Gray throat. I like gray throat. I don't think I know what her kid is like. Reminds me, I still need to level up Exusia. Probably got the pickups uh, a few hours ago. I got Makoto in one single stage. Let's go. Hell yeah, Stormy. Happy for you. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Good job. GG module stage. Why do you guys keep talking about this GG module stage? Making it sound so ominous. I'm nervous. I just hope we're not too late. Captain, should we have... <clears throat> Captain, should we... Have right and tell Amya's team or go report it direct. We should keep reunion in the weird guys looking, uh, the weird looking guys back here. Got it. Wait, we've got bogeys closing in on our position. Mantra, you want it? Just makes them forget what they're doing. No need to fabricate some orders or turn it into gibberish morons or whatever. Serve your strength. If we are run into reunion, we'll need you to defuse the situation. Mm -hmm. Good, be careful. Right. Okay, and uh, it's good to send Captain here. Your assist army is in the core city. Mm. The Ursus army is in the core city. 8-7. I don't have packs, bro. So is it this one? G G module stage. Is it this one? Oh, 8 8. Damn. Doctor? You'll know it when you see it. I, de I don't know about that one. All right, within the Ursus army, the history of the artillery corps is not particularly lengthy. They are more than happy to arm themselves with the newest technology and have little concern to spare for who their enemies are. We got civilians running around. Not a lot of places to put people. Very cool. Yeah, sounds really cool, guys. Sounds really cool. 
Sounds really freaking cool. All right. <clears throat> April plus the Eli gang was so uh, winning back then. April with, with the goofy eyes. Elysium was good. I, I used Elysium a lot, actually. I used him for a while, even after I got Myrtle. I just started using Myrtle because she's cheaper. <laughs> Give the units for it to be fine. See, so you say that. You say that. But we'll see. I did struggle against the Patriot fight. But I guess that's to be expected with the boss. Alright. Uh, let's jump in. Oh, just right in. Right into it. Let's get this bread. Things are different. Alright. I don't want to hide my Stupid ass. Anymore. Okay. Bro, where what is what are these positions? All right, Myrtle's going here. Heavily army, sturdy build, drone operated. Oh, great. Bro. Don't let this be it. Oh, you little shit. Bro. Not all these stupid bears. Oh, my God. Oi! Don't do that. All right, Archetto, shoot it down. Oh, it's armored. Reed, shoot it down. All right, Reed. That still kill. Oh. Myrtle. Reed, how much death? How much damage are you doing to that thing? Oh, you're killing that guy. Leave him alone. Ah, crap. Swire, get him. This isn't good. Raid! Oh my god. Bro. Stupid ass. Arteta, you got this. Arteta, you might not got this. Bro. <laughs> no! Alright. This is not looking that good. Stupid ass drone. Yeah, I forgot it literally was like a highly uh, resistive unit. I was like, shit. Now's the time to help everyone out. Right, Golden Glow might be able to do some damage to it. I need someone else on the ground, though. FedEx Gaming. Hopefully I can get cancer by all. Please, dear God. Golden Glow, good job. All right. Start going sicko mode. You're so loud for no reason. I know I've been trying to balance the audio and it's not going super well. Okay, we can get Myrtle back at least. I guess I'll I'll put her over here, but that's probably gonna end up being a mistake because another drone's probably gonna spawn in, I'd imagine. We'll see, we'll see. Alright, Myrtle, at least make some money before you die. Right, let's cancel by all this. Oh, do I make money when I shoot the block? That's kind of funny. Go, cancel by I'll save the civilian. Uh, I feel like there is going to be another one that comes out. We're only halfway through the stage, you know? I'm listening. All right, let me get... Let's get Horn right here. Oops. Orders received. Okay, this goes. Ains get DP when they attack anything. That is very nice. Very nice. That's why, I, honestly, I really do love Cantabile's kit. She works really well with Myrtle, in my opinion. Just Myrtle stationary, and then Cantabile can do some damage and make some money. You go with Stainless turrets? You know, I don't even know if I know what Stainless's kit is like. I don't think I have a healer out. Alright, let's do that. You support her? Orders are fine. I feel like it's definitely one of the weaker classes. They're pretty versatile in terms of ranged attacks, though. Oh, why are you attacking Myrtle? Get out of here. All right, I'm just saving Golden Glow skill because I know for a fact that something stupid's going to happen. Myrtle, make money. Wait, there's not a... Oh, there is a civilian there. I was like, what is going on? I said, there's, a, there's been a civilian standing behind Myrtle the whole time. 
protected by the flag bearer. Good job, Cora. You're doing great, sweetie. Oh, okay. I lied. Maybe that's it. Go, civilian. Go. Good job. Roberta with cannons. You know, actually, I haven't used Roberta either. I want to use Roberta. Home run. <laughs> Cora DPS. Cora cooked. Oh, great. Oh, great. All right. Hold on. I'll see this in a second. Also gets insanely fast DP. Uh, Jen, because of his plus two SP when attacking an enemy with full health. Ooh. So if you set a turret where, he'll, where it'll never fire, he can just get to plus three SP every hit. You set up like a little a little farm over there. Interesting. That's once attack buff two's SP gen three is damage turrets that everyone just uses to charge offensive skills. That's so that's so funny. If you wish to prove yourself before a legend, you must first approach perfection. Only the commoners shall bleed. Only the nobles shall face slander. Static Roblox and Tallulah the fighter. What the hell is this? Bro, this looks like a freaking pinball map. What am I looking at? The day you're Roberta and Utage get E2 will be a happy day one day. Bro, what the frick is this? I don't even know what I'm looking at. My small brain can't put the pieces together. Why is there so many places where people can go? Try to see like where they're gonna come from. So they're gonna start here. They're gonna go do 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 and break this, and then what? Just go through here. Do they have a means of going anywhere else, or do they just walk all the way around? So it's either gonna be that, and it's gonna be a lot of people. Or it's going to be something really stupid and a bunch of people are just spawned in right away. Yeah, drones. Practice tickets? Nah. Nah, we YOLO it. There's only four enemies. We YOLO it. Okay, but I do want to be a little bit more uh, mindful, we'll say, of who I bring. Um... Now nah, we're going to YOLO it. We're going to YOLO it. Let's do it. Get this gamer bread. Any story? Okay, we got story. Gravel? Gravel's a good, good to slot in. We got story before we deal with whatever 8-8 is. Alright. <sighs> Which, eh? And heading south. The gorillas are hoping to get as many mines as possible before the extermination plans get us underway to save as many infected as we can. Garrison is falling back. And we are pushing further and further ahead. To outsiders, it probably looks like we're hunting down the Ursa squads. That couldn't be further from the truth, and it's a nigh impossible task. We're hiding from the Ursa army while also trying to save the infected from under their nose. If you ask me why we're doing this, I guess all I can tell you is it's what we're supposed to do. That being said, I can't help but feel that by taking all these infected, thus giving the other team some breathing room, we may be playing into Mr. Patriot's hands. Patriot might have drawn a line, a line that we dare not to cross. Cross that line is to fight the Ursus Garrison head on, a tall order. It goes without saying it's either that or keeping ourselves under the radar. In other words, we'll have to leave the tundra, and that means in infiltrating the real Ursus territory, their nomadic cities where all the aspects of their life are ruled with the iron fist. At that point, the gorillas put their weapons away until it's time for us to take up arms again. The treatment of the infected in these cities ships out in the wild and bounds even more cruel. I imagine the days that are to come will be very difficult. Not easy to take this step. But this is the northwestern tundra. There's nothing but snow here. We can't feed all these mouths with just snow. I mean, you could. It's just not a very good appetite. I don't know. Do you guys think it'd be harder to survive off of snow only or grass only? Probably grass. Yes, that wasn't an option. It's one or the other. I'm doing a poll. 
Can't even digest grass. What? That's a lie. I ate so much grass as a kid. You saying... You saying I didn't digest it? What would you rather eat only snow, eat only grass? Do for like five minutes. There you go. Was that specifically cows so they needed a second stomach? What? I'm personally going snow, I think. Because I feel like that gives you some some water too, which is important. Good luck, thank you, Concon. <laughs> snow gives you water. Yeah, exactly. See, and you need water to survive. I don't think grass gives you much water. Maybe a little bit. All right, November 3rd, year X. Petrova. My brothers and sisters, are you okay? It's good to see all of you in one piece. The one piece is real. Man, that battle was not a disaster. Thank you, Yeti Squad. It's a pleasure to lead the fight with all of you. Pleasure's ours, Salula. We were thinking it's very reassuring to fight alongside you. We make a good match. Now I can see why Frost Nova trusted you to lead our squad. What's more, the way they use your arts is getting more ingenious by the day. Blasting flames through the cold air and detonating that. I don't think I could have come up with that one. Well, those weren't exactly flames. It's hard to explain, so I'll spare the details. I'm sure Frost Nova can rest easy knowing she doesn't have to look out for all of us all the time anymore. So, do you think we'll come across any more of those Ursus scum here? Well, this is one of the cities Ursus was planning on dismantling three years ago. The troops here managed to take over the city, probably thanks to the corruption of some equally dirty work. As for the original residents, probably either enslaved or driven out. They didn't stand a chance against us, at the very least. They aren't as weak as you're making them out to be. Just relatively speaking, compared to the regular Ursus army at least, it's not like Patriot has let you fight any battles that difficult. No, he hasn't. It's true. He didn't think that we could handle it. But I think we're more up to the task now. Well, how things are getting on. Not sure about that. The real Ursus army is on a whole other level. This detachment lacks discipline and training. I'm guessing they might not even be technically organized. And we just barely hang, had a leg up over these guys because of our tactical planning. So you're saying we've got nothing to celebrate? No, far from it. We all have the resources we need to survive now. Zeke, what's up, dude? Welcome in. How's your day going? Thanks so much for stopping by. What's up, what's up? I don't know what that says, so I don't want to say it out loud because I think I'll get in trouble. Oh, what's up? How are you? <laughs> so I have to... I've never watched the show and I probably won't ever watch it, but I probably... Uh, but I have to say the One Piece is real anytime that anytime that, that text is, is mentioned, you know? It's it's the same sort of thing as uh, what was it? The One Piece opening song, first line. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> um, it's the same as like you know if 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 you see a line that says uh you know somebody once told me you have to start breaking out into the Smash Mouth song. It's just it's just a rule of thumb. I never watched One Piece either. It's too fun. <laughs> it gets good around episode three hundred, bro. I ain't got. I, do, you, do you know the amount of other shows I could watch in 300 episodes worth of One Piece? That's the lens that I've always looked at it. But I've also always said that if you like it, then good for you. Because there's a lot of there's a lot of content. It, it's one of those things where it's like it's like similar to like Path of Exile or like MMOs. Where it's just like it's way too um, daunting from the outside. Versus, uh, you know, once you're in and you you know, you really like it. I've made that comparison a lot and I stand by it. That's one of one of my bigger brain moments was saying One Piece is like the MMO of anime. First peak arc, episode 31. I guess that's not too bad. It's not terrible. Hey guys, I finally got to open my chapstick. Yatta! Yippee! Alright, we good. We are so back, boys. Finally. Finally! No more chaps lips! Woo! Yeah, I probably won't watch it. We'll see. Maybe in a few years. Who's to say? Maybe I'll watch every single other show that's ever come out by that time. And then I'll finally start it. <clears throat> we really need these supplies. Without them, we won't make it through the winter. Besides, the nomadic city may be old and run down, but maybe maybe even too small, but big enough for us. None of us have ever been on a nomadic city before. Tallulah! What's the matter? You're one of the infected from the Air Curl village, if my memory serves me correctly. We've got a pretty big team ourselves. At the very least, we're not smaller than their, your gorillas. 
Oh, we're almost there. I'm not exactly part of the guerrilla force. We still definitely had more men in this fight than you. So, what do you want from me? Let's go our own ways here, Tallulah. You serious? We fought plenty of battles with you people. We've taken our shirt off our backs for you more ways than I can count. You can take half the resources in the city. Hell, take more than that. Just let us keep the city. With the city, we could go anywhere. We could be anywhere in the tundra. The patrol unit, the Ursa's troops will never find us. You are saying you don't want to fight anymore? We'll die. We're we're all a little... The enemy, they're, they're getting stronger and stronger. These people aren't even on the same level as any of them. Any of the contingents that Patriots guerrilla squads have faced. But we can't do it. Tulula, you aren't going to deny us this even? Even this, are you? Okay, what are you people talking about now? No gang, yes, no gang, gang. Woo! Huge W. Hey, Seven, what's going on, dude? Welcome in. How are you? I could watch like 10 different great anime before I reach the halfway point in One Piece, so I don't see any reason to even start. Like I said, I think that's that's the reason why I probably won't, is I'd rather watch a bunch of different other different stories, but I, I realize that other people would rather go down like a, you know, a really rich, deep, um, long story, which is perfectly fine. You can't start One Piece until you're able to watch it all in one piece boo 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 no that was pretty good <laughs> passing even uh superman it i know it's big i know that the um uh what do you call it uh what was i gonna say they have a they have a pretty popular trading card game actually People saying One Piece is peak when Shika no Konoko no Kokoshidantan exists. Exactly! See? Raito, you get me. You get me. Show's so funny. <laughs> Popular doesn't mean good. Uh, that's a little subjective. Does it mean... Because if something's popular, that it means that it's perceived as good by a large majority of people. Might not be, you know, your cup of tea, but that's perfectly fine. That's why there's other genres and mediums, which is the good part about uh, all media. So, yeah, so people can enjoy what they want. That's all. But, um, but yeah, like I said, I don't know if I'll ever watch it. I'm leaning in the direction of not for the for the reasons brought up. But you never know. I've heard the live action's really good, and honestly, I might check that out. And I've, I might check that out at some point. So. Yeah, see, if you liked it growing up, that's a completely different thing. You're like grandfathered in almost. You're, you're sold. You're already bought in. So. What's, uh... Alright, what's going on? <clears throat> Yeti! You cold-hearted monsters wouldn't understand. Death means nothing to you. Not like the rest of us. You. Weighs Petrova down. Tallulah. We'll get the supplies out right away. The city's yours to keep. That's good to hear. But I won't stand for any insult to our fighters. Apologize to the Eddies right now. <clears throat> Sorry. That will do, right? Trova, gather your men. We need to itemize the supplies. Also, turn on the Ursus comms terminal we captured. You don't mean... They know Patriot's guerrilla squad isn't around. Ooh. What's going on? Where are you going? Mr. Patriot, we are just about to rendezvous with you. You handed the city to those folks. Looks like you got my message already. What these people are doing is nothing short of betrayal. Your permission has given them the justification they wanted. You destroyed the order here. The moment they asked to be let go, I wasn't going to be able to keep them. Those who lack conviction and willpower shouldn't wage war. Not now, not ever. Ooh. That's a good point. I guess. Depends on how you look at it. If we go by your logic, no one was born with the right to set foot on the battlefield in the first place. That is also a good point. <clears throat> Discipline is everything. Kill them and take the city back. You owe your team and your people this. Jeez, all right. Oh, oh easy there. Don't they know the infected will kill a bunch of helpless people with their backs against the wall and grease the wheels with their blood all for a rundown city? They have contraven our discipline. None, none ever fought for discipline to begin with. It has been four years since we first met, and all this time, not once have I given you an order. I either tolerated your presence there on the battlefield or refused to work with you. Been together for four years already? Holy shit. They're not even technically reunion. Reunion's someone else. It's gonna be made into a seasonal show. It'll be the best time to watch it. 
I don't know about that. Oh, oh, hold on. No, they're they're doing like a um like a Kai, right? Like a Dragon Ball Kai. Right, that's what it is, right? Appeals to a larger audience. Yeah, and you know, it, whether or not you're a part of it, that's a you know it don't matter. That's all. Made it special to me. Eh, that's fine. At least you have what you enjoyed before. I, I will say I've loved all of the uh, Patriot flashback reactions so far. Honestly, uh, all of his all of his scenes in general are really good, but these ones in particular, his conversations with Tallulah have been really good. Even though there haven't been too many of them. But also, the fact that it's been four years already. Studio Wits. Um, oh, did the, they did the first ones for Attack on Titan? They did Spy Family. I think I knew that. They did Vinland Saga? Vinland Saga was good. You guys should watch that if you haven't. That was a really good... That that show... That to, to quickly talk on Vinland Saga, that show somehow was able to... So, Season 1 is a very different show compared to what Season 2 is. But they are both so incredibly good and, and complement each other so well. It's such a good story. And I think there's more, but I don't know. Even if there wasn't, that them alone, um, the seasons one and two, super duper good. I highly, highly, highly recommend. They're the prologue. What? Holy shit! AOT is like three shows. Compare Vinland to AOT. That is like three different shows. Wait, hold on. Sorry, what? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm I'm not sure I'm following uh, your point there, Zeke. I'm sorry. Might 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 be missing what what you're what you're mentioning. At least the source material. Oh damn! Oh, I didn't realize it was that it was that flushed out. All right, well that's cool because it is a good. It, it's a cool um like story and, and universe that they have there. Interesting, interesting. I really can't know if you have matured or gone soft in that time. All oh, because I don't agree with you. Summon the rest of the infected and tell them they've been betrayed. They betrayed the manifesto. Have them executed immediately. You must make an example of their transgression. Can't do that. I can see you're hesitating. You are hesitating because they too are infected. Is it because you think this is dishonorable? You loathe killing and you don't care for power? That's not a bad thing. But then you need someone to do the dirty work for you. I'll let you know I'm not afraid of doing this and I don't dare to claim I have the moral high ground over anyone either. In that case, the gorillas and I will get it done. If you refuse to take up arms against them, the gorillas will clean up the mess. What is this, that, that expression? You can't possibly think I am the honest and noble man everyone makes me out to be. Ooh. Someone like that would have been dead long before the fighting even began. What's honorable besides reigning victorious and safeguarding the fruits of victory? Triumphing over the enemies you loathe in battle is by very nature an honor, but that doesn't mean I take pride in my sacrifices. If a decision leads to victory and fewer dead comrades, then that's the right decision to make. The city's already on its last legs. It's been in service for much longer than it was intended. It's not going to last another three years. Both you and I know that they are doomed to be stranded in the tundra. They'll still have to find a way out in the end, but with the city, they bought themselves a tiny bit of hope, even if it's just for those three years. I'm not going to crush that hope of theirs. You're fine seeing your team get torn into two? No, I already told you. They were never on the same team as us to begin with. I'm not going to give you the we cannot go into battle excuse you've been giving me all i'm saying is that not everyone thinks the same way we do we'll have many people join our ranks but not all of them are working towards the same goal we are Ooh. that's true even with reunion which i like we're just borrowing their strength we aren't exploiting it if we force them to do our bidding we'd only be making them work against their goals this is like you know exactly how like w and um and patriot even uh, operate within uh, within the reunion movement. That's how you get them to actually start doubting each other and feel alienated. All for the sake of purity, is it? If that's what you want to call it, I'm not sure I'd describe it like that, though. If nothing else, I can tell you are a righteous person. There's a unit station nearby guarding the trade route, and they're much better at trains. You know things are bound to go wrong. I don't want to admit it, but you're right. They just might do that, so we're prepared for that. The Yeti's intercepted the message already. You're right. The nomadic city sent a message out that tipped off the Ursus troops in the area of our location. 
They want to draw the Ursus army's attention to us. No one wanted this battle to happen. Their foolishness will slowly lead them to destruction. Uh oh. All right, what do we got? The heart fickle and impermanent. What blocks the way? Uh oh. I will burn through. I don't want to see what this is. The music's nice though. Sorry, let me catch up. Starts as an action show, turns into political trauma with drama with uh, coup d'etats and stuff. Also, the final season completely different. AOT felt like a zombie show to me at first, then turned into a political drama, then war. Oh, okay, right. So I had the exact same thought. I actually thought, like, when I first started watching Attack on Titan, which was my first anime, I actually made a lot of comparisons to The Walking Dead. I was like, this just feels like it's like kind of like The Walking Dead, so I'm kind of into it. It made it very approachable, I think, in that regard, as like a survival show. But yeah, no, it just evolves, I think. Vinland's like a very harsh... Um, like AOT, I feel like is a little bit more of a slow transition to those big changes. Vinland Saga is like a complete 180. Like first season's this, second season's that, and and like that's how it is. But yeah, they're both really well executed in my opinion. What's up, Protogen? How's it going, dude? Welcome in. Happy Monday. How are you? All right, here we go. <clears throat> Ursus is counting on these drones to guide their artillery strikes. I'm hurt. It's just a scrape, but too many of these scrapes and I won't be able to keep fighting. Uh-oh. If you want to avoid a fight, it's not too late to fall back. That won't do. If I don't step up here, we'll just be leaving our backs wide open to the Ursus army. I have to be careful to not take too much damage. It's the only way. Stand firm. We must stand firm here. Flames barely do anything to my body. I can't even stop the bleeding. I must save my strength. I must make sure to finish this battle... Hail in whole. Mr. Patriot, you aren't going to back down, right? In that case, I won't either. <laughs> Shit! Oh, God. Oh, my God. Are you serious? <laughs> God damn it. How many are there? Bro, what the hell is this? Okay. Myrtle, go over here. It's safe. Bro, now I can see why this is a Golden Glow map. What the hell? Oh, this is the ble the bloody... This is the bloody tile. Oh, crap. I messed up. All right, cancel battle. You might be able to make some money. You can survive one. You can survive two. All right, now I'll retreat you. Okay, I need to... Holy shit! All right, Tulu will get him. Okay, let me... Is that top one up top moving? I don't think it is. Let me get you over here. I won't be afraid. Let me get... Er... Okay, how am I going to do this? I can do you there, and then I can do Swire here to bait. Is it not going to attack Swire? Okay, now it is. Okay, good. Myrtle makes some money. Global healing from you. I'm glad this is all I have to deal with, but Jesus Christ. Okay, keep going. Swire can take the hits. Golden Glow, good going. Oh, you're going to just start... Oh, I messed up. I messed up big time. Okay, cancel by all. Oh, shit. Tululu, you got this, right? Oh, it attacks everyone in the... <laughs> All right, it's fine. All right, FedEx, you're going to start killing those guys. Reed, what are the odds you can outgun this thing? Get your skill and you might be able to. No, you got him. He's good. Okay. I don't think any others are going to fly by you, though. Let's wait for a second. I come back to chaos. That's how it works. <laughs> Becomes even better at reviving. So what is that, like a skill one one? I like the, the reduced cost for the merchant class, though. Kill GG due to order placement. I thought I had her, actually. I thought she was in a good spot. It would be tense with giant drones cover the entire mountain, man. 
Oof. Too soon, bro. Okay. Freaking, uh, dude. Okay. The fact that Lula stepped on the bloody tile really sucked. Okay, what can I do? Um... I can't get Golden Glow back up yet. Yeah, top side is going to be scary. Um, snipers aren't going to do a lot. I'm going to need to pull Reed out. Okay. Um, let's break down this tile with Bagpipe. Oh, dude. Okay. Cancel is gonna have to start going. I thought I retreated you. You guys are good, right? Bagpipe, hang on. Is she about to get hit by two? Yes, she is. Okay, get out of there. You get out. Jesus Christ. Uh, stupid ass drones. Okay. I need to... Blue's already at half health. This sucks. Okay, let's try something. I don't have a means of hitting this one in the top corner. Did another one just spawn in? Are you serious? Oh, and that guy just walked through the... Oh my god. I get out of there. We gotta break down the... Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Damn it. I don't like this. Okay. You do that. You got it. Bait, Cora, bait. Bait, Cora, bait. Dude, you gotta move really quick with this. Okay. Keep going, Golden Glow. All right, get blasting. Start blasting. Okay, it'd be it'd be cool if you'd kill the uh, the one I need you to. Bro, are you for real right now? Hold on. We need to destroy the block. Tallulah's gonna die. Uh. Guys. I don't have anywhere. Dude, how are you supposed to deal with the ones in the middle? I can't even think of how I'm going to deal with those ones. Oh, Tulu is dead. This is going to end. Unless Golden Glow is able to pull some shenanigans. Fire, destroy this thing. It's going to bleed out. Uh, jeez. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright. Alright, well, I had far too many snipers. Definitely need some casters. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, Pajemka, I gotta swap you. Let's bring, um, Amia. Searcher, bro. Searcher can't swing her sword all the way. Takes the kid gloves off. This shit's so. This shit is so ass. Okay. Surprisingly, um. Surprisingly, Myrtle on the blood tile in the corner didn't actually do as bad as I thought it would. So. Um. Gravel. Gravel would be useful. I have Cancabile too, who can actually hit the the targets though. Um, I'm gonna swap horn. Um, Shamar help. I don't think Cruz would help. There's only so many people I could bring. That's the problem. Could Minar it. 
That that is an option. I'm pretty sure he can hit ranged or aerial. I'd rather not though. I was thinking Lin. Lin's just expensive. Who did I just swap? Oh, I swapped Horn. Ah, Horn was also expensive. Okay. She can eat a few. What's her... What skill do I have? So, attack range, shatter, damage... Um, Ever an enemy defeats... Ever attack defeats an enemy, shatter the crystal barrier. Um... Ooh, attack slow the target. That could be helpful. Attack speed up. Less likely to be attacked by enemies. No, we don't need that. We need her to... Uh, do we? Keep it on skill 3. Okay. Why don't you have your module on, bro? Put the module on. Hello? Why is the module not going on? Am I stupid? Come back. There it is. I don't know why I didn't equip. Um, do you have enough defense? Uh oh. Alright, well, now we know what we're getting into, at least. Click on brand. Ah, too late. <laughs> Thank you, though. Okay, so I think we're good. I think I know I know what I did wrong and I know how to fix it. Operation commencing. Alright, we can skip this. Right. So we need to make money. We need to get FedEx right here to block or break that block and then kill people we need uh what do we need we need some more money first so he'll kill some of the aerial guys and open up the path a little bit Myrtle can handle this one all right I need enough to bring Cancelbile and Golden Glow out, which we are good now. I'm gonna do this and then Cancelbile. Oh shoot, that's a, a bad placement. Yeah, man. Whoops. Okay, let's get you out for your global heal. I'm gonna leave you there. I'm going to. What do I want to do? Do Lin here, Reed here. But I can start blasting. I don't remember if anyone else comes down here. I might have messed up the order there, but I guess that's fine. Because Reed, Reed can. Like, solo one. FedEx is getting hit, though. Okay. Go. Okay, block's broken. Let's do that. I think I can probably pull him out now. Let's do that. Let's take this opportunity to break this block. And can I snipe that block over there? No, I don't think so. Okay. Let's do Amia and Cancelbile over here. Let's do you there. Cancelbile here. All right, and they should be able to take down these things. Okay. Who just died? Oh, Cancelbile. All right, sorry. Um. Wait, what happened? Lin's Bear is based on her defense. We're good, we're good. He's immortal? 
The drones can't hit her? Good. As she deserves. Okay, I can retreat you. I can retreat you. I can retreat you. We need to clear out these ones in the middle now. So that's going to be... Uh, might have to be like... Oh, Amia. I thought you could take another hit. Might have to be like a Golden Glow Snipe or something. Uh. Alright, we need to try and clear this block quick. Give you there for here to tank. Alright, Tallulah, you gotta move a little quicker, sweetie. Alright, block's broken. Oh shit, I forgot about this other one. Bruh. Insane. Alright, core is taking hits. Uh, dude, that one in the back is so shit. Uh, uh. Tallulah. Alright, we killed this one. Jesus Christ. Bro, come on now. Are you serious? Wait, did she die? Did Tallulah die? She died and I didn't immediately lose? Oh. She's dead. Story's over. Damn, we changed the timeline. Bro, what the crap is this? Okay. Have you deal with that one? We can deal with this one. She... She... Why is she dying? Lin! Lin, you don't do much attacking. Uh... Bro! Oh my god, 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 Insane. Okay. Yeah, whatever, bro. Um... <laughs> oh, shit's so ass. What's up, Spade? How are you? Welcome in. Get some heals out here, man. We're facing down? Ah, oh, crap. Need you to face... I wish you were facing up. All right, Myrtle, make some money for us. We need some money quick. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. It means more than you know. We are just struggling on this fight here. There's one where the module's huge. Man. One day. One day. Okay. You're going over there. I can put you there. And I'll be able to maybe debate it with uh, Cancel in just a second. Don't attack the block. Get healing going. Okay, can't file up there. Far away, far away. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, bro. Bad timing. Really, really, really bad timing. Insane. Alright, Quora, get out of there. Oh, dude, why aren't you attacking the drone? Oh, my God. Dude, I cannot believe that that just happened. That's so sad. Dude, he wasn't attacking the drone. Uh, uh. Is it turning around? I can't believe this. You're a good swire. Okay. Myrtle, make as much money as you can. Make as much money as you can. How did Amiya just get hit by that? That should have hit the ground already. Here, she's not even standing in the circle! Bro. That's... That's crazy. Alright, get this stupid drone to walk over to Reed. I'm just... I don't... Uh, I don't want to win and not have Tallulah make it, but I guess it is what it is. Alright, let's bait this a little bit. Um, I don't think she can. Maybe when she throws the coins.
That was so dumb. <laughs> Bro, I can't believe that. All right, second try. Two stars, I guess. Pity win? That's not a pity win. That's not a pity win. I won. I didn't lose. If it was a pity win, um, um, erm, erm, that's so sad. She's fine. She just had to make a tactical retreat. Okay? Don't worry about it. Yeah, Mika, that actually really, really sucked. Um, Amiya basically got spawn killed. Um, I didn't realize how important Lin module was. Granted, I only, you know, I built her, I, I got her, I built her, and then I didn't really use her that much. So. Gonna have to come back and do it again? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Time to reveal this to you. Uh-oh, I don't like the sound of that. The, did you guys see the did you guys see the gears the gears turning the, the the gears spinning i had to i had to think a lot arknights and british so true spade so true lock on there's a challenge mode version i don't do those <laughs> i don't i don't do harder modes i don't I prefer a nice, peaceful, easy. Someone cleared with Tallulah dealing 100% of the damage. How in the world does that even work? You have to just like buffer. Are you able to buffer? I think the game hints you. Okay. Damn. All right. Well, we. We survived. We did it. Se I'll, I'll take second try. I'll take second try. That was a, that was a good map, though, I will say. <clears throat> take account of the dead and wounded. It's just as you said. They used us as bait, and a battle ensued. Are you disappointed, Tallulah? No. They had their reasons for doing this, and I know exactly what they were. Knowing they had a legitimate reason, I couldn't possibly have gotten my hopes up. The informant must be executed. And how should we pick out this traitor out of all the people that wanted to flee the battlefield? They betrayed their brothers in arms for a moment of peace. If you make excuses for them, you're only putting your warriors in harm's way. No, they never swore their loyalty in, to us in the first place. You want every last person on your team to be absolutely perfect? That's impossible. You won't find a squad like that anywhere. But the gorillas. The gorilla fighters aren't perfect either. There are only a handful of people as perfect as you're making them out to be. Everyone else has their own reason to be here and the only ones that are willing to pay the price. But that doesn't mean they've all thought it through. Stand down, soldier. Don't try to argue with her. It takes a lot more work to build a city than to destroy one, mister. Just let them stay. If there's more than one way for the infected to survive, I'd rather see all of those ways work out. Tallulah, you can't always go about everything without making sacrifices. Sacrifices. Not even up for me to decide. All of us prepared for the worst. You can't win without spilling blood. Heading south will lead to war. I know it, and I'm sure you know it too. The Empire isn't going to sit by and watch the infected unite and grow into a major force if everything goes the way you pitched it and the infected actually manage to take their fate into their own hands, then this war is inevitable. You're right. We need to first let the infected understand that their lives have meaning. They don't have an obligation to face anything that comes after that. You want the gorillas to fight this war? Tulula. Are you waiting for a war to break out between Ursus and another country? One that you can profit from? Ooh. Or are you trying to sow the seeds of that war yourself? You don't want to give me an answer. You should know that any victory you can hope to achieve will bring it with it disastrous results. You're probably right. That doesn't mean I'm going to sacrifice any lives. Are you prepared to bear the tremendous pain to come? Not at all. Things are bound to be painful after all. Do you expect everyone to be so kind-hearted? I simply have faith in the people of Ursus weren't born selfish and cruel. Perhaps you'll come face to face with real evil one day. I've already crossed paths with my old friend a few times. I sure hope so. If a soldier swears loyalty to his fellow men, only later to betray them for his own profit, I'll personally write up his charges. But if the group of infected we're dealing with aren't fighting the same cause as us, what gives us the right to annihilate them? It doesn't make them our enemies. Tallulah. Nah. Please, go on. 
There are a lot of people who am I respected, not for their strength, but for their honesty. I can only hope you are one of them. <gasps> affection? Is this affection? You know the meme of the guy with the little butterfly and he's like, is this whatever? I don't even know what the original one is, but he's like, is this affection? I'll keep that in mind. Petrova, where's Frost Nova at right now? She's still at the mountain pass. She's holding the fort there until we finish capturing the city. Let's rendezvous with them. I need to apologize to her personally. So is that captain? There should be at least three garrisons around. We need to take down every last one of them before we get the supplies out. All things considered, she made the right decision. The nomadic city doesn't have that much longer of a walk ahead of it. Is this the pigeon? Is that oh is that what is that what it is? Tallulah smile so precious. I know. The rare the rare Tallulah smile. I think what I'm waiting for is gonna happen soon. Oh god. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, Tallulah. Are you in a bad mood, Tallulah? Nope, I'm fine. You know, Sasha. Do you still want me to use your real names? Why do you ask? to have a name that we can use to protect ourselves when we are so far away from home. Sometimes, if we don't pick a name for ourselves, we'll only ever be called the names others give us. You haven't gotten given yourself another name. That's only because I don't want to. Why? You were just saying we should use different names. Because I want to be the same person both inside and out. I want to become someone whose actions represent her beliefs. So then your current actions are different from your words? Sasha. You're right. That's very likely. That's why I insist on using my name. It's just that the name doesn't really have much meaning to everyone else. After all, who I am isn't important to any of them. My name is only important to myself. So what should I call you then? When, when you put it like this, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to call you. Sasha, how about I put it this way then? I'm just a rebel, just a normal person. My name, that's not important. No one should remember my name. This name shouldn't become a symbol and it shouldn't have any other kind of power. It's just my name and it's nothing more than a name. If you want to call me by a name, you can just call me Tallulah for now. When you call me by my name, I'll turn around and look back, but that's all there is to it. Ooh. She does keep talking about this, like, you know, bigger than herself ideology that she's trying to enact, which I think is really interesting. Obviously, we don't know how it ends up paying off yet, though. Tallulah. You can call me Tallulah too, you know. Maybe a little too early for you to uh, to tell you to this, but I want to, Sasha. Go on. I want you to call me Tallulah because I want you to think of me as a friend. Good friends like we're all peas in a pod. Even if I die, you'll still remember my name. But not because I did anything special during my lifetime. I just want you to remember the time we spent together. I want you to remember you once had a friend called Tallulah. But you're killing bad guys. You're fighting them. The girl who fights shouldn't have a name. Everyone who has their own fight. Everyone has their own fight. We're all fighters. Don't hang your head and just follow the fighter's footsteps. Don't do that. Not everyone is like Patriot. All of us make mistakes. Look ahead of you. Look at where he's going. You don't just keep your eyes shut and follow whoever has the most important sounding title. The names you remember are your friends' names. The names of the people you spend the most time with. It's Frost Nova who gave you that extra spicy candy, but still gritted her teeth and smiled. It's your teacher who made you that weird vegetable stew. It's Patriot who will never give up on training you. They're all your friends, not fighters. As fighters, we don't have names. Lula, I don't get it. Well, I want you to trust me because I'm your friend, and not because of my position. Just like all my other friends. Hmm. All Did the captains. I have no Besides, uh... What's her name? The Crown Slayer. I will pursue them. <laughs> the hint is in the stage descriptions. You might get the M86 one. He wants to figure it out. That's to hint though, because the way folks learn about it is R88, because something people try and do anyways. Wait, hold on. 8 6. Approach perfection. I did notice that it was bold. Life points will be deducted by one when killed by an enemy.
M8 6. Oh. 72928. Though some of your friends may be willing to share your pain, you should perhaps reach out to them. And some may never have your friends. And some may never have been your friends in the first place. Approach perfection. Reach out to them. What the hell? I'm not sure uh, I'm getting it just yet, but it's fine. Don't worry. It's fine. Don't worry. You're spoiling us? What does that mean? I got Rosmantis for free. Let's go. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, let's swap our team back to a little bit more what we normally use. Let's bring Monster. I will see to them. Um, let's, let's swap Amia with Let's bring La Pluma. We'll level up La Pluma a little bit. We're like 25 or something. Yeah. La Pluma. We'll go double Reaper gaming. All the good stages in one stream? Yeah, what can I say? I'm a man of the people. Reach the third one without figuring it out, I'll mention it. First is the easiest to get in regular gameplay. The others are a little trickier. So wait, it has to do with the... It has to do with the stage itself? Alright, we'll, we'll look at this after. Alright, let's jump in. No, 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 we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll test my attentiveness, which we've known is never generally that good. Reunion member. Blocking the way to the control tower. What the hell kind of reunion operative are you? Are you joining us or are you trying to run away? You want them to fight us, that's your prerogative, but this is as disgraceful as it is pointless. Hold up, have you met this squad before? No, there's not. It's been a lot of new blood in reunion ever since we left the tundras. I haven't ever bothered to get to know any of them. No way, guys, it's, um, it's the shield guard. What, what's his, what's his catchphrase? Um, pre, uh, pre, preach feline, I think it is. Is that what it is? Yeah, pre, preach feline. Can I get a, pre, can I get a preach feline? Still getting kind of the, kind of the feeling they're not. Guard, watch out. Uh-oh. What are you guys doing here? Ursus troops. Ugh. Fall back. It's the Ursus. Not gonna say a peep till the very end, huh? Oh, what, you think I'm some kind of traitor? You think we're despicable for turning our backs on Ursus for some lowly infected? We're fighting to, for their worthless lives. We're behind their... Behind the times. We've got no honor, so we should get our names taken off the registers and erased from history. Maybe you have a husband or a wife. Maybe you don't want to be here, but you still got sent by the higher-ups. You're still some puppet master's pawn, throwing away your life to do someone else's bidding. Dude, this guy is quite the yapster for just a... He's, he's had a lot of dialogue. Pathetic. Pathetic, I tell you. Oh, pathetic? No way. Can I get a pathetic as well? Hey, take care, Stormy. Thank you so much for stopping by. Dude, I appreciate it. We will uh, see you later or see you next time. Take care. Have a good night. Ones are easiest to do are different for people. Ooh. Yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Pathetic, pathetic, I tell you. Have you ever killed any Ursus men before? Was it the infected or regular citizens that you killed? When you got that blood on your hands, were you even afraid? Does that keep you up at night at all? All of you who stayed even after the Emperor died. Pathetic. Knock it off already. Fall back. Careful, the Ursus troops are wearing reunions. No, guard. You mustn't say that. Why? The combatants on both sides will start doubting everyone around them if you say that. The more chaotic the situation is, the more of an advantage they'll have. If everything goes as Elysium planned, the first thing we need to do is... Is to stop everyone right here. We don't have that much time left. We have no idea where a reunion will come barging their way to the control tower. It'll only get harder to organize an attack once that happens. Not all of us need to fight this battle. We're up against Tallulah. A small, disorganized squad isn't going to do us any good. I'll go. Fall back. Fall back. Watch out for the pile driver spears. Find cover. Hamia, not again. You're Rhodes Island's leader. Is she the leader, though? 
Is she? Uh, maybe. No, she's an elite operator now. We found that out. I'm not going to tell you that's all the more reason I should head in there. All I'll say is if there's something I can do and something needs to be done, then I'll do it and I'll see it through. And who's supposed to cover you? I will. Shield guards, and that includes anyone who's injured. Let's do this. We'll hold the line here. Feline. Preach, feline. Preach, feline. Supreme leader, CEO, supreme commander. Got quite the titles. Damn, freaking Daenerys over here. I knew she was like a higher up, but I didn't realize she was like the leader. They're rounding up all the special infected and driving them out. So ruthless. They aren't even showing the tiniest bit of mercy. I'll crush their position and ambush point. Well then, Feline, you're the first outsider to ever be backed up by both the Ursa shield guards and the guerrilla fighters. The young caster lifts her hands up. She pays no heed to the commotions of the battlefield as though it matters not the slightest to her. Her eyes gleam with resolve. Up until now, fear and regret have kept her chasing her endless flow of memories. But now her promise with her friends, as well as the responsibility she shares with this embattlement of steel, has given her cause to finally stop and rise up. No, I'm not an outsider. We're a team now. We'll stop this city together. That's why I'm not an outsider. Shield guard, shield up! Yeah, shield up. Now all the titles. Alright, shield guard, shield up. Farewell to reunite once more. Look, there she is. What's that? It's not the Ursus army. What trickery is this? You haven't seen the infected codename Mephisto control them, I guess. Oh, God. What? I thought Mephisto was supposed to be a medic for the infected. Doesn't matter either way, but these special infected are nothing like what they said on the reports. They were driven here. This isn't a clear pattern to their actions. Easy peasy stage. Well, if it's based on canon, then Rosmanta should be able to solo her. It's just, there's so many of them. It doesn't matter. We can't let these infected monsters breach our front. Don't give the Ursus troops any openings. There's too many of them. Do not be afraid to make sacrifices. What should I do? I, I might be able to do something to help the shield guards on the front lines. There's something I can do to keep them alive. Oh, bro. Look at... Oh, oh it's so good. The zombies are coming. <laughs> Alright, Rosmantis. Don't worry, Cantabile is going out there. Myrtle makes some money. What does your skill do? Attack interval increases attack up, splash area expands. Units attacks and shock waves have a 20% chance to be stunned. Holy crap. Dude, she seems crazy good. Right, so you guys are coming up there. I feel like I don't... Oh, those guys. I was going to say, I feel like I don't really need to worry about them, but I might actually need to worry about them. What about a little FedEx action right there? A little tasteful FedEx. Can you hit them? I thought I said range. No, attack interval increases. That's so sad. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Give me... Counts it. Bro, why is there so many of them? I definitely messed up the timing of that uh, skill. That's really sad. My right, monster. Oh, you're too far up. I messed up. Hate it here. Rosmantis kill. All right, let's see how Rosmantis does. Dude, there's a lot of them. Okay, I think, I suspect we'll be able to heal them. So let's do, uh... Oh, they're just going to get global healed, I guess. Okay, I had a retreat monster to get them in a better spot. Not quite the right angle. Yeah, it's, it's tough. Imagine if uh, Roz was actually as strong as her lord. She seems good. What are you talking about? Flingers can only attack melee, but each attack is AoE. E. Oh, she uses flingers? I don't know what that means. Are they the flingers? FedEx doing big money damage to these guys. 
Oh, you little brats. Uh oh, a shield guard of their own. A golden glow. I'll do my best. And I can get monster back out here now. Oh, he did die. I looked away for too long. Oopsie. <laughs> it was an accident, I swear. I didn't mean it. Um. Okay. Where am I gonna hit these guys? I feel like I did kind of miss my opportunity to use like Archetzo's good aim. Let's get some monster. Attacks three targets at once. Each attack restores some of this unit's HP. That's not good. I don't like that. Ooh, yikes. Luma, are you able to kill some of these guys? Alright, push this guy out of here, Swire. Good job. Alright. La Pluma! Attack fast! She dead. These guys are scary looking. Stupid throwers. Pain in my ass. Yeah, there's not really anywhere else I can do. Like, I could put Reed there as, like, a back line if needed. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do Archetto. I would have preferred Archetto and Perfumer switch. I don't want to risk pulling Perfumer out, though. Have Archetto start to shoot at, shoot at him. Reed S3 would go hard, though. That's what I'm thinking. Or, the, or that's what I was thinking, but... Uh, I want Archetto skill. Hey, FedEx can come back. Yeah, see, Archetto just kind of hosed them down. All right, FedEx is back. There, don't worry. Okay. Drop Swire in. Myrtle makes some money for us. Two, three, and push him away. Have you start blocking? Get some heals. Alright, good job. Alright, alright, alright. Rosmantis go. I think we lost one of the dudes. No, actually no, he might still be alive. No, he might one might have died. FedEx, keep shooting. Uh oh. I think there'd be another one so quickly. We get Swire back out there. Uh oh. Fire! FedEx! Close one. Push him! Yeah! We, we got it. Alright, two, two shield guards died. Worthy sacrifice. Throwing him right back into throw range. No, it's fine, Mika. I was paying attention that time. Rip two shield bros. They did. They did. They're fine. We're good. <laughs> At least you were treating them that time. I I kept them alive. <laughs> the shield bros. <laughs> preach, feline. Preach. All right, that one. I I liked that one. I liked. I I like the ones where there's just like a huge swarm of like people, um, that you have to deal with. But like at the same time, you almost like didn't really have to deal with them. Like, obviously, if you didn't do anything in the top lane, like, they'd get overrun. You're gonna love RA? What's RA? What's RA? Breach V-Line. I hate how 7TV hasn't updated on uh, the overlay. It's so sad. Event where there's so many enemies, your phone will lag? Oh, yippee. Minecraft phone? <laughs> Reclamation Algorithm. That's a sick name. Man. We'll have to put it to the test. Uh, anyway, Mika, I feel like FedEx Fe FedEx did really well. Th thank you. To, thank you to your boy. Um, MVP. Obviously, Swire. Swire killed those two dudes, two or three dudes in the middle. What would we have done without her? Basically a resource management mode. 
that seems kind of cool. It's I, I like I like event modes that are like very different than the norm. I think that's cool. Ethan Suzu Reed S3 event. Ooh. Suzu. Maybe one day I'll get Suzu. Alright. <sighs> Rhodes Island medical technology is streets ahead of ours. I'll give you that. Part of the plan is to send medical personnel to all the infected settlements, but it's way too dangerous to send our normal medical medical operators into war zones. I'm good, thanks. I'm much better now that I've been bandaged. The enemies have retreated. The battlefield has grown in size. I can't use my arts anymore. I can't track them down. You can count on the devils on the team to get that done for you. That's very They're very good at that. Thank you, Rhodes Island soldiers. Without your bravery, the number of casualties would have been much higher. I also heard you saying just now, Cautus, you're trying to make it to the control tower by yourself? Uh, yeah, but also probably not. Oh, what does that even mean? <laughs> I will probably be the only one there when I face Tallulah. A warrior from Lungman might also be there, but I'm just going to assume there won't be anyone else right now. How do you plan on killing her all by yourself? You're nothing like the captain. Sure, but neither is anyone else here. The more people we have there, the bigger of a mess things are going to be if a fight does break out. Besides, Tallulah is much better than Patriot at quickly bringing the battlefield under control with her arts. I'll bring a squad inside with me. They, there are bound to be other threats in the control tower. Are you sure you're bringing enough? I trust the people on my team, each and every one of them. Oh, I trust, I trust the people on my team, each and every one of them could be counted on, and I know, and they know how to adjust to all kinds of situations. If we end up somewhere we can't handle ourselves, we'll ask for your help. Melee dodges only, so we won't dodge the throwers. Oh, who are you talking about uh, putting there? Can FedEx deal with the top lane with his skill two, infinite ammo and dodges? What is his skill two? I love the the skill three. Just feels so nice to use though. Trust horn, true. Trust horn. But he doesn't have as many enemies as RA. Oh, the, you guys are talking about the other events and stuff. When are the, when are they um supposed to either rerun or or come out or, or you know release again? You trying to keep us out of the final showdown? No, it's not that I'm trying to take charge of the battle. It's just that, sir, there are other battles that only you, the gorillas, can handle. You want us to stop anyone from getting inside? Exactly. Amia, um, yeah, you don't want me to go with you? It's safer for you to stay outside of the control tower. <gasps> are the girlfriends breaking up? You don't want me to fight with you? We'll take on Tallulah together. <gasps> no. I need a second. The, the, uh, Rosamantis, Tallulah's arts are filled with energy. You're really good at dealing with all kinds of physical attacks that come your way, but I'm worried about her flames. But but she she killed Ace. She killed so many people who mattered so much to me. Why can't I go? Uh, <laughs> if I'm not good at dealing with that. What should I do? What, what can I do? There, there are lots of other good things I wasn't good at, too. You hate Tallulah. What else am I supposed to do? Is it bad if I hate her? Rosmantis. I don't have the answers to those questions. I'm not saying you can't hate someone you've never met. I, I don't have that right. But Rosmantis, before I go, I'll leave you with an order. An order? That's right. Orders have to be followed. Council told me. Elite operators follow orders. I... Yeah. Logos told me before we left, Patriot really sees anyone as his nemesis. He prefers calling people by symbols or by any characteristics or, or equipment they have. He doesn't usually call them by name or race. But he called you a feline just now. That might mean he approves of you. But he called you but he calls you that too. He called you a cautus. And what about what about me he liked? What what is it about me he liked? Is it how scary I look to others? I don't want people to see me like that. <sighs> Man. But you know how often we're called monsters? People have been calling Patriot a monster for many, many years. It's true that the arts were the arts we possess are really scary. But he thinks of us as people. He thinks of us as human. Not equals. We're both scary and things that other people hate. No, that's not right. Just look at all the guerrilla fighters here. There, are, then there's the re <laughs> then there's the reunion fighters following the other leaders, and of course our own people. Your good deeds earn their respect. On the other hand, bad deeds earn their hate and mistrust. Logos mention. Who's Logos? Logos. All right, who was mentioned in Shoe? It should be soon after. Ooh, late August. All right, all right, all right. 
doesn't have any of them uh mailing him to replenish ammo they hit too hard for him to sustain if a dodge fails poor fedex that was a th that would have been a tough map for him in any other spot logos i'm fun witnessing the villain arc punk you can't say that it's just good writing it's not the villain arc we just get to see both sides of the story so yes i am actually it is very it is very good how you been dude welcome in thank you for stopping by what you been up to recently logos who's logos i want to look up logos i'm not going to though no spoilers all right <clears throat> We are judged by our actions, just like how our teammates look out for you, just like how the shield guards defend Patriot, just like how we trust Dr. Calcid's word without a question. Rosmantis, here's my order for you. Live, and make sure as many survive this as possible. And in order to do that, don't come after me, even if I don't make it myself. <sighs> they are breaking up. Amia, but uh, you're my friend. I couldn't, I, I couldn't let, you, uh, let you go in there all by yourself. No means no, Rosmantas. I promise you this. I promise I will come back alive. Better. So that's why, no matter what anyone says, no matter what they say happened to me, we both need to do whatever it takes to fulfill our mission. Oh, mm. uh, uh, man. I won't look up logos, don't worry. I don't, I don't look up stuff. I don't look up stuff. I'm also very forgetful. So even if I did, I probably would forget. But I won't. When would um when would I learn about this color? Roxanne, what's up? How's it going? Good morning. How are you? Thank you for stopping by. What you been up to? How you doing? Yeah, we're hanging out with we're hanging out with Amia here. Ow! <laughs> Chapter 12. Episode 10 or 12. All right, so much later. Uh, Roxanne, <laughs> thank you for the 220 bits Riz count. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I think I changed the sound. So it's uh, anytime bits come in now. <laughs> thank you, Roxanne. I appreciate it. You're too kind. We have to survive this, both of us. And this order goes for everyone who's here right now. We must live. The whole point of the Chernobog rescue mission was to save lives. The whole point of the core city infiltration was to save lives too. Don't ever say things like, there are causes worth giving your life for. Never say that. Life is precious and more importantly, your life belongs to yourself. No one, absolutely no one can let their lives go to waste for us. There's no such thing as necessary sacrifices. Who said something about sacrifices recently? Um, is it Patriot actually? Is it Patriot talking to? Um, I feel like it was Patriot talking to Tallulah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's what. That's what I thought. It was like very recent too. I thought that was a chapter five title. Oh, that was a title? Was it really? Take care, Roxanne. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Hope um, hope things are well. We'll uh, see you later or see you next time. Have a good rest of your day. Yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to like do more comprehension. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best to understand the words that I'm reading aloud. And by doing so, I'm trying to draw parallels between the two. Um, because I think there is a lot. I think I think there. I think it is very intentionally written and styled in the way that it is, um, between like the the modern events and then the flashback events and then the modern events and then the flashback events. Travels a necessary sacrifice on so many stages. All right, you're right. You're right. That's a good point. But she loves us for that. She's into it. Massive yaps because I can't keep up either. No, I'm keeping up. I'm keeping up. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's just I can't remember all the specific lines that everyone's saying. <laughs> Say otherwise is just wrong. Guard. Yeah, I'm listening, Amia, leader of Rhodes Island. Why'd you... <laughs> that's, that's so weird. What? Like, adding t a title at the end of someone. Like, that's very, like... 
medieval almost. Like, what if I was just like, yeah, I'm listening to you, XZ Demigod chatter in Benny underscore Bloom's Twitch chat. Like, what? It just sounds weird. <laughs> this goes for reunion too. Cottis, go ahead. Just leave this place to us. Feline, let's go. Let's give the little rabbit the battlefield she wants. Amia, you have to do this. Okay, I'll see this through. Yeah, thanks. Amia squad, follow me. Yo, Amia squad, rise up. Just kidding, I don't know who's on Amia squad. Whose squad would you be on? Who, which elite operator squad would you guys be a part of? Put your, put your self-insert OC onto Rhodes Island, which... <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, wh 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 which which Rhodes Island squad is your original character in? I hear you, Benny underscore Bloom, Prince of... <laughs> Scout? Oh, man, it was nice knowing you, bro. Damn. <laughs> Amia, I feel like Amia squad would be pretty good. Rose Mantis squad would also probably be pretty good. Does Blaze have a squad? Or like... um. The recon squad with uh, Elysium. That would, that would probably be pretty good too. Every elite operator has one. I just don't know if it's, if it's like the same squad every time or if they like kind of do a little like fantasy football draft before each mission. They're just like, all right, well, Amia, um, yeah, I'm going to take like guard. I'm going to take medic. I'm going to take, uh, you know, blue fire or whatever it is. Mechanist. I don't know who they are, so I can't comment on it. Be scared to be in Rosmanta squad. Bro, come on. I can't say that. She'd keep you protected. She'd keep you protected. I think I I'd like it. <laughs> but valid. Anyway, Amia Squad, follow me. Everyone, we'll meet we'll meet again alive. Oh, sweet childhood ignorance. Sharp Squad. That just sounds like you're in like a. a you know what that sounds like? You that sounds like a um. You know those like knife sets that uh, are in the wooden blocks that people put on their counters generally by like a stove or something or at least that's where I see a lot of them but like I could see I could see a knife set on someone's you know counter and it just like on the side it's just like sharp squad bunch of knives I'd get that Sharp's badassery and Kajurg what's Kajurg? I've used him in IS I like him he has a cool design I wish he was like a full playable character Give him a little bit of a, a brush up and make him playable. DJ event. Ah, oh, rip. Rip, rip, rip. Yeah, that one I just completely skipped, actually. I don't think I did any of the missions now that I think about it. Oh, well. Goodbye. We'll see you later. I'm your squad. Okay, let's do our job here. Well, then, gorillas will take care of this one. This place is a little too cozy to be our battlefield. Come, let's turn these blocks into a war zone. Rhodes Island, let's go. Yeah. No, this event. What is the flashback? Freaking Wei Yan Wu. Freaking, freaking Wei Yan Wu. Go over this for me again, Superintendent Chen. I'm not being clear enough. No, you're clear as day. So perfectly clear that I thought I misheard. Superintendent Chen, you should know this is outside your purview. Laws are different from one country to another, but common sense applies everywhere. What did the Royal Guard Academy teach you anyway? Did they ever tell you to keep your feet on the ground and not bite off more than you can chew? Graduated long ago, and now I'm a police officer serving lungmen. I'll repeat again, so listen up. My wish is to join the LGD, and from there I'll join the Special Inspection Unit. I'll protect this city and I'll clean this place up. There won't be another incident like that. What incident? Well, aren't you forgetful? Or are you just playing dumb on purpose? Watch your mouth, Officer Chen. My apologies, Chief Wei. Sir, I'm referring to the incident that took place roughly 10 years ago when the city was infiltrated by foreign forces. Several Longman citizens were kidnapped and they're yet to be found. I will continue to push the city to investigate and locate the kidnappers, citi kidnapped citizens after my admission to the department. Jen, you have no idea what you're talking about. Sir, I'm perfectly aware of what I'm talking about. I won't argue. How about this, then? As soon as you don't think you can keep it up, just let me know. Tell me, Superintendent Chen, how long do you want to be in the department? 
kind of interview is this? I didn't give him an answer. For all these years, I've always wondered, just how much longer can I do this? For how much longer do I want to do this? And it wasn't until now that I finally realized the answer isn't for me to decide. The Xi Zhao has gotten pretty rusty in my hand lately. I wonder just when it'll finally understand. Shadowless doesn't mean to chase after shadows or let go. Instead, it's to never look back. As sword ear, shadows trace cast off cast. Doctor Sugoine. <gasps> Doctor Sugoine? Oh, you mean it? Oh, you, you, you mean it, La Pluma? You're too sweet. Sugoine. R8-9. To lose. Second of the third. What do you mean? No, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Alright, what's up here? I don't like this. She was up next for Ian Voices. I did not. Who is it? I don't like the look of I don't like your reaction to the stage uh, every new stage is gonna be that face it seems like it it's been every single stage today uh, wompty womp crazy Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo. Yo, shout out to the person who just commented on a on a VOD on YouTube that I just got notified. And they said, him realizing how fruity Alina and Tallulah is, is so fucking funny to me. <laughs> I, I realized it very early on. Stage is amazing. It was so good. They redid it on the Typhon event. Oh, really? Uh-oh. I don't remember if I did that one. Doing pretty well. Well, thank you. I can see why they'd be tough though. This is definitely some some challenging stage setup. So this one was terrible. All right, so we got civilians coming in. Part of me really wants to do the double reaper strat. I'm gonna rock with it. All right, let's jump in. Let's do it. To be fair, though, I feel like. Generally speaking, I've kind of operated under the assumption that a lot of people are quite fruity in this universe. For the best. For the best. I wish I... I don't know how much further I have to go. You can hear the winter feather ch chirp every now and then. Is that supposed to mean something? Does it mean that spring will be here soon? It's still very cold here, but it shouldn't be much longer until it gets, starts to get warmer. It's been three weeks. We found two more villages willing to trade with the infected. We've been we set up camp in an abandoned settlement a few kilometers away from them. There's plenty of fuel here to last us a while. I can't imagine how awful tree bark tastes. I don't even want to listen to the old man tell me how nutritious they are anymore. December 7th. Mr. Nothing? That's good. Pure Stream. Pure Stream has a really good um, JP voice, though. I think I e one her over the weekend as well. I'm very well aware this road is taking us. Nonetheless, we have to get to the end of the road. Even if I don't make it, Yelena, Alina... Nino and Sasha as well. I'm sure they will make it. But the road beneath our feet is just way too murky and hard to see. Interesting she didn't say anything about Patriot. Will they reject us? We can't bring up their hopes too much. Hold on. Okay. Do not say anything about this. Because for up until probably like right about now... I have thought that Alina has been uh, has been dead. I don't, I don't think she's making it. That was my thought. But I just a, a new theory just popped up. Do not say anything about it. But I know that there is some other um, leader, lady, anything. Bro, what the? F I asked one thing. Um, there's some other, like, reunion lady that, like, left or is rejoining or something, and I don't remember her name. I think it's Nine? I think. I think it's that. Could it be? Miss Alina is Nine? 
Oh, dun dun dun. Imagine. <gasps> I pressed the wrong button. I'm gonna roll with it. Anyway, just a thought. Because they're talking about. Uh, so I pressed the wrong button. So <laughs> Um, well, just because I'm thinking like, it's obviously one of two ways. It's not, it's, it's like uh, the, the thought that still makes the most sense to me and, and what I'm probably leaning towards is that Alina does not make it and it ultimately sends off, um, Tulula into the deep end to like, you know, change her way of thinking much like we've talked about. Yes, it's obviously, no, it's not obvious. It is obvious. Well, they reject us. We can't bring their hopes up too much. It's a bad thing to make a promise you can't fulfill. The Ursus Empire's promise about bread and bed was nothing more than to ruse, cover up their atrocities and lies. And lies of what to lead to ty tyranny. Will they come to loathe us? It's very likely. If it wasn't for how hard life is in the Northern Plains, people here would probably report the infected to the patrol unit the moment they spotted them. This kind of animosity probably came from how worried they are about their own situation. I'm not like Buldrakisti. We certainly need to be on the lookout to avoid that, but I don't believe it's in their nature. We can't hold on to them just because they want to look out for themselves. Definitely not. Will they try to hurt us? I have no idea. It's probably not something I can worry about too much. No matter the case, I think most people are only like that because of the circumstances they are in. If they had a teacher like Alina, a team like ours, or the chance to live in harmony with infected, I'm sure things would improve. Most of them are simply brainwashed by Ursus's twisted ideology. We can help them. Knowledge can change the way people think. It's just... It's a really difficult thing to do. That's even though I believe if you hold fast to your beliefs, to your actions, getting everyone to accept the truth should be one of the simplest things to accomplish. The words above were crossed out. Naturally, the letter was never mailed out. These were letters? Who was she writing to? Oh, I thought this. I thought she was keeping a diary. Who has she been writing to? Ooh. Oh, good morning. Wouldn't it be dangerous for you to head outside right now? I talked to the soldiers and they said the patrol unit all went to the village to the west. Did someone see you trading with them the other day? Not impossible. Anyway, you should stay away from the west. I know. I'll go to the village to the east instead. I should still be able to barter for some things there. Oh, and you don't need to worry so much. Remember, we used to find ourselves in situations much more dangerous. What are you trying to get at? Uh, what are you trying to get this time? Some canned fruits and dried vegetables. Are those things really worth heading outside for? Our fighters will get sick if they don't improve soon. It's about time you pick up a few things about taking care of yourself. I mentioned who she's writing at the beginning most. Oh, it is. Oh, I was going to say that, but I was going to seem I, I was going to feel really dumb saying it. So I, so I actually didn't say it. She's been writing to Chen the whole time. Man. We're having trouble just getting enough food to feed ourselves. I really don't think we should go out of our way for... Oh, wrong wrong person. I really don't think we should be getting going out of our way for... Now, Tallulah, that's not right. Um, <clears throat> It's precisely because there are times we don't get enough food on the table or even clothes to keep ourselves warm that things like songs, music, fruits, and flour and our desire for the th things that delight our taste buds, our eyesight, and our sense of smell are so important. I just accidentally skip one. No, we good. These are the things that remind us what we're fighting for. We're fighting so that everyone can lead a decent life. Naturally, your health is, is part of all that. But just some vegetables and fruits, we can help a lot of people fight off their diseases. You're butting me with my own words? That's cheating. Hey, now, cheating? That's quite a serious charge, isn't it? Here, say it after me. That's smart. Okay, okay. You need me, someone to go with you? A bodyguard, that is? It probably isn't a good idea. I may be infected, but I'm not that special. I wouldn't want anyone to find out about us just because of me. Besides, it isn't too hard for me to hide my infection. Easier than for some of our soldiers. Okay, but you should still be careful. I don't think we can completely trust the villagers there. There are a lot of things that don't add up there. Yep, okay. Oh, I'll try to get us some pears, too. Do you reckon the Yetis like apples more? I think they're more a fan of raspberries, but let's not worry about them. They know how to look for themselves. I've got a meeting now. Okay, I'm leaving. Alina. What's up? You forgot your goodbye kiss. I'm thinking about putting together an infected education group. Would you like to run it? Uh, huh? Am I, am I really the right person for that? 
You have a much better reputation than me among the non-combatant infected. It'll be easier for me to introduce you to everyone. That's not what I mean. Knowledge is a means of fighting itself, Alina, I insist. Well, I'll leave the decision to you. I don't need to write up any speeches or anything, do I? Oh, I hear the applause already. Stop teasing me. Uh, okay, I'll get going now. See you later. Don't stay out too late. The girlfriends are cute. What the? What the heck? That will work. We need to hang them. The captain isn't around right now, but I know that's what he'd order us to do. Remember, guerrilla fighters, we're not an army, at least not yet. It gives a bad impression when they first joined us. It was because they trusted us. They only started having doubts because of hunger. That's the only reason they made this mistake. It only happened because we didn't keep our end of the bargain. What bargain? Feeding them what little food we have left? We promised the infected a place to stay. Not everyone came here for a noble end. That's not realistic. We could have earned more of their trust if we had machines exchanged for provisions sooner. In any case, I cannot keep accepting them on the team. Then let them go. I won't tolerate any excessive violence. Also, give them enough rations for a week before you exile them. Absolutely not. Even not our warriors get that kind of treatment. We're not going to give in on this one. It has nothing to do with an achievements or whatever. We simply can't abide by their behavior. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Fine. At least don't go overboard with the language. Don't chew them out too much. We can accept that. Good. Now that the patrols are trying to smoke us out of the west, we can't let them find the group of infected there. That's all the more reason to put these bastards over. Who's there? Hmm, someone knocking? Come in. This guy? I like how this guy's popped up, like, multiple times over the years. Delula, It's the patrol unit. They're investigating the village that traded food with us. Should we get out of here? If we leave now, we'll be long gone by the time they find out about us. Draw the patrol unit our way. I'll ambush them somewhere close by. We must let the patrol squad think we're behind it all, even if we have to leave our tracks behind for them to find it. Tallulah, think this through again. The 4th Army sentries are just 10 kilometers away. Once they get word from the patrol units about us, they'll definitely come after us. The villages are pillaged because they gave us a helping hand. No, suppose they didn't. If they come in harm's way because of us, the infected will never find another village to trade with us. Then let's take it upon ourselves to keep the news from spreading. That's exactly word about how word about this gets out. Listen to me. If you try to put a lid on this by killing everyone there, the bodies will become evidence. If you then get rid of their bodies, then the deserted village will become evidence instead. If you want to keep any bad news about us from spreading, then there's only one way to go about it. Don't let anything bad happen in the first place. What we need to do now is widen the path we have ahead of us, not just for ourselves, but also for the descendants of those who are following us down this path. Any questions? No. You have a point. Let's do that. Let's go. Right. Uh, what you said just now makes sense. Protect all non-combatants and help them evacuate first. We have a tough battle ahead of us. I'll be fighting alongside you, but neither Frost Nova and Patriot are here with us. Remember one day you may not even have me fighting next to you. Man. But as long as you... As long as what you're fighting for is just and feasible, then we don't need anyone else by our side. You don't need anyone by your side. Yeah! Let's go. Hello. Let's go. Reunited only to separate. Uh oh. Things are different. What the hell is this? Who the hell are you guys? Uses ranged attacks when not blocked. Gains greatly increased attack when HP drops under half. Bro, what the shit is this? Okay, I thought they were about to all start unloading on those kids. Okay, we're good. You know the plan. Move to intercept. We'll be fine. I'm aware of what I'm doing. All right, we gotta make some money, and then we gotta kill uh, these goons. So who do I want to kill first? Let's drop Swire and kill this one first. Actually, this was a mistake. I'm gonna need to um, what is it? I'm gonna need to probably kill the freaking. Probably need to work right to left, honestly. Music in the stages has been really loud. Alright. Alright, let's get FedEx right here. And the Pluma right here. And then let me retreat Swire. Those guys are strong. Holy crap. Starting to face the elites. Bro, oh my god, look, he's got red eyes. 
Oh, you would spawn right there. You would spawn right there. Shit bag. All right. That's tragic. Okay. Uh, we need a means of killing these dudes. So let's do this. FedEx being there is such a waste, dude. Dude, how strong are these guys? I can put you right there. What does that do? Ooh, Korra's gonna need help. Okay, let's get uh, Reed right here. Alright, well, at least they'll hold the front line there. Alright, Myrtle can make some money. Good job, Archetto. You're doing great, sweetie. I feel like looking forward, looking back. Wait, what is that? Is that the name of another stage? All right, Archetto's just going to keep shooting. Okay, let's dispatch this guy with this wire. Holy crap. All right, good time in killing those other ones. Okay, you know what? Actually, maybe this isn't so bad. Maybe this is... Oh, God, now some are spawning in. Maybe this is bad. Okay, we're going to set Golden Glow up. Uh, I guess right there. Let's see how that goes. Alright, Swire. Save that man. Alright, I will actually leave that guy there. Oh, sorry, I'll leave Swire there. And she'll deal with this guy. Yeah, kill him, Reed. Alright, Golden Glow can get going now. Alright, this guy should make it. Oh, he didn't make it! No! <laughs> he didn't make it! Okay, you do need to work right to left. Shit. I thought he was fine. Uh... Oh, best viewers on. Best viewers. That's crazy. Man. Poor dude. Alright, get going. This is sad, bro. Alright, can't spoil it. You gotta hold this guy off for now. Who's hitting this guy? Oh my god, they're getting attacked as they spawn in. Oh, sh shit, dude. Okay. Why are you gonna deal with this? Yeah, another one just died. I th oh. Oh, the pluma died. What's happening? Fellas. Not good. Not good, fellas. Not good. All right, that guy's free. This guy's got a path. All right. Oh, yikes. Okay. Uh, 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 quick, 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 quick. Do something, do something. Monster, go. Bagpipe. Uh-oh. Monster had to kill that guy. Stay alive, monster. Please don't kill the civilian. Please don't kill the civilian as he walks by. Did you really kill the civilian as he walks by? Or did someone else die? I was looking away. Oh, we're good. We're good. We are good. Dude, stupid civilians. Unbelievable. Just ran into him. God, wasn't that just good of a viewer? I guess not. Oh, nope, wasn't the best viewer. Man, that was that was tough. I did. It took me way too long to catch on to the fact that they were getting attacked. Um, when those dudes in the middle spawned in, um, if I did that again, I would do it a much different way. Um, but I had the right idea at first, where you 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 got to kill the kill the elites uh, right to left. So you can clear the path for the for the civilians, but I, I kind of messed up at the start. So, oopsie. Oh, well, we still made it through. A win's a win. <clears throat> you defeated, defeated the reinforcements. I shouldn't have expected less from you, Tallulah. What about all the other infected? 
They all made it in one piece. The one piece is real. The backup safe house we found is really came into great use. <laughs> Have you done a head count yet? I did. Some of the kids were crying about how the older girls haven't come back yet. It's sad, but this happens fairly often these days. <sighs> what was that face? Lula, we found the rest of the patrol unit. Looks like they've just been running away from the whole, the whole time. Which way do they go? East. Makes me wonder if they'll come across the folks we exiled. Tallulah? Uh, hold on, Tallulah. Where are you going? Running. Running. Boots soaked in freezing, chilling water. Where have the patrol units been going? Legs sunk in white, blinding snow. Forgot to use the sleigh. Forgot to use the snowmobile. Melting all the snow, dashing in the mud. Sounds like it should be a Christmas song, but it's not. A long trail on the earth. A long trail in the snow. Cold boring into the lungs. Pain piercing into the brain. Running. Running. An endless snow. An endless winter. An endless world. A drop. Lula stops with two peas in her tracks. Stop. Another drop. Tears drip down the corner of her eyes. She does not notice the drop she shed. <sighs> Lena lies there on the ground. grips firmly onto the empty basket in her hand. Her clothes are dyed red with her own blood. The grass and mud around her body, once pale white, has been dyed a dark shade, no less intense or florid. The snow keeps falling relentlessly. <sighs> no, uh... Uh, Lula? Uh, Alina. I didn't want you to see me like this. Uh, don't talk, Alina. Uh, stop talking. Just uh, just don't talk. Uh, we need to stop the bleeding. J uh, just hang on. I'm not bleeding anymore. It's just... Uh, in that case, let's, let's go. We, we need to get you to the medics right away for, for a blood transfusion. It's okay. D don't worry. It's just the things I traded for. Uh, don't worry about those. They aren't important. Let's head back. I'll, I'll take you there. The Draco carries the Alafia on her back. Only now does she notice the little deer looks so delicate and light, but her weight is so, so unbelievably, unbearably heavy on her back, as heavy as the weight of the whole world. Uh, stop. I, I won't. Uh, who did it? Who, who did it? Who did this to you? Oh, was it the patrol unit? The, the villagers? Those bastards. Those, those bastards. I'll, I'll burn them all. I, uh, oh, wait. Don't don't tell me. Was it the infected we exiled? Uh, those ungrateful shitheads. No. The shield guards gave them any rations. Tulula. Uh, Alina, I'm listening. J just tell me. I won't tell you. Why? Why, why are you not going to at least give me the chance to avenge you? You mustn't. Do you remember what you said to me yourself? You mustn't fight for revenge. You've already chosen to Lily. You've already chosen a path to follow. Giving up halfway all because of me, I won't have it. Don't hold this against anybody. You mustn't. What are you talking about? What are you saying? How can I not? How am I not supposed to hold this against anyone? You told me yourself. You said yourself that you can't harbor hatred against anyone or you'd be swallowed up by that old man who placed that curse on you. Even if those arts never existed in the first place, oh, wouldn't you still be taken over by all those things that represented who he was? You told me that yourself. Uh, right, right, right. But, but, but those those people, those... You know where they came from and why they did that. You said it yourself. Those people aren't our enemies. S stop, uh, Alina. D don't speak. No, Tallulah. Everything you said, I remember. So you must remember yourself. These aren't the people you need to crush. 
It's Ursus that drove them into the, that corner. It's Ursus and the, the world as it is. It, it's okay, that, that's enough, Alina. I get it now. Lulu, there's one thing you can detest. Everything they did, you can scorn, but never hate anyone. Do you agree with me? Do you think what I said is right? Are our lives meaningful at all? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what it was that we did wrong, but I know very well what that curse is all about. Your rage can burn down the entire plane, but you mustn't hate. Alina. I'm worried, Tallulah. I'm so worried. If I'm not here anymore, you must have Yelena remind you all of this. Uh, Alina, stop! Don't go on. I, I, I don't, I don't want you gone. All you need to do is be here with me. You, Yel, Yelena, Sasha, Eno, all of you. I don't want to lose any of you. Tallulah, but all of us, all of us met so that we could part one day. The white-haired Draco keeps trudging on in the cold, endless snow field. On her back, the Alfa Alafia girl trembles away, pausing only to take in deep breaths now and then. Snow drops down from the Al Alafia's horns as Tallulah slogs along. The snow-covered trees behind her begin to burn alight in silence. She has unknowingly begun to set her path ablaze. The snow fields before her eyes are vast and endless. On her back, Alina is the only warmth she can feel. Tallulah feels each and every beat of Alina's heart through her back as they grow weaker and weaker by the moment. She wants to scream. She wants to cry. She wants to squeeze everything she feels out of her lungs as though she could erase all this from her body. But Tallulah stays silent the entire time. Tallulah. Be there soon, Alina. We're almost there. Don't close your eyes. Don't close your eyes. It's far. You don't need to lie. The snowstorm is growling. Tallulah? I'm listening, Al Alina. Tell, tell me, what's the matter? Snow is warmer than I ever imagined. I'm sorry. I still don't have all the things we talked about written down. It's okay. It's okay, Alina. It doesn't matter. The children, you know, in particular, you need to... Uh, I'm listening. Go on, Alina. I'm listening. You need to do more... Then just talk to him. It's getting hot, Tallulah. I don't want to die. I still haven't. Your sister. You must live on. <sighs> this will do it. Tallulah will not remember what happens next. There's no memories of anything after that. She melted away each and every last thing she could have remembered along with the snow. She leaves behind only a trail of flames, and with the exception of Alina, everything behind her is burned away in the inferno of her wake. Tallulah treks on in the snow towards her parting with her dear friend. I knew it was coming, but it didn't make it any easier. That wasn't a real theory. That was a secondary theory. I told you, I told you straight up. I was like, my main theory is this. This is just another thought imagined. Tallulia, you're finally back. You didn't answer our calls. What? What? Uh, who's that on your back? She's not breathing. Medic, get over here now. Tallulah, just hang on. T Tallulah? What? She's walking right by. Where's she going? Tallulah, you may be the leader here, but that doesn't make it any less serious to leave. Wait. Yelena? Let her go. Do you know the poor little girl? Not really. I think she's a teacher at the settlement. She's her girlfriend. Oh, she's the teacher. Poor kids. That's another person they could look up to. Gone. 
But why is Tallulah... Everyone has secrets they want to keep to themselves. Whatever happened, it's hers alone to remember. She could still be nine. She's not nine, okay? <laughs> the Alafia is still on her back. The Draco wasp walks past the encampment. Their contours slowly begin to blur as they both disappear into the edge of the forest. No one knows what happened after that. They could only watch as the Draco walked into the darkness of the night. We have a few runaways. A little like I once was. <sighs> Bro. Man, what the fuck? <laughs> a home run, bro. A home run would have actually made me cry. That would have brought tears to my eyes. <sighs> you dear, bro. That's foul. That's absolutely foul. Uh... Ah! Damn it. Uh, you want to know what the worst part about all this is? You want to know what the worst part about all this is? Because that's where we have to leave it today. Uh, I guess it's as good a spot as any. Um, Man, I can't. I was going to say I can't believe that just happened, but I knew it was going to happen. I said it was going to happen. I said it was going to happen multiple times. I knew it was going to happen. It was probably the most predictable thing that could have happened, and it still upset me. Blue Bolly? What are you talking about? We did four hours of bullshit. Unbelievable. A joke to hide my tears. Honestly, so valid. G G question mark. That is a question for the ages, isn't it? Con con. <laughs> uh all right. You guys, thank you for hanging out. Fucking god damn it. Alright. Thank you for hanging out, you guys. I really appreciate it. Whether you were lurking, chatting here the whole time, here part of the time. Thank you. Um We'll be back tomorrow for more, so don't worry. We'll be back tomorrow for, you know, picking up where we left off here. We, you guys get to sleep on it. So tomorrow, more Ark Nights. Wednesday, jumping back into Celeste. Yes, thank you. Preach, feline. Preach, preach, feline. What, the One Piece? The One Piece is real. Thank you for hanging out, you guys. I really appreciate it. Whether you were lurking, chatting here the whole time, here part of the time. Thank you for your support. It means more than you know. I was not yapping for an hour. Actually, this was considerably shorter yapping, and we were in the game before the 30-minute mark. No Arknights on Wednesday? No, not this week. Not this week. We will be... Uh, we will be pulling for shoe next week. Or on a gorilla stream on Thursday or something. Yeah, there's been significantly longer yap starts. I, I I think it just it just it just worked well. It just flowed well. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. Great stream. Thank you for hanging out, you guys. I would agree if um we didn't just end with Alina's death. <laughs> uh, but we we did we did get a lot done. So I'm uh, I'm happy with that at the very least. So um you guys, we are going to be hopping into a raid. So um let me just a quick pulling time. I don't know. We'll see. I, I'd want to do... We'll see. We'll see. TBD. TBD. Um, we're going to be hopping in a raid, so I do ask, um, even if you're not able to stick around for their stream, please consider hopping in the raid to show some support. I'd appreciate it, and I know they'll appreciate it as well. I have someone that we're going to be raiding. Um, they are doing their birthday stream. So, we have a slightly modified raid message. Hashtag you, Benny, raided, as always. Um, throw your favorite Benny emote in there at the end if you're subbed. If you're not subbed, just throw your favorite emote in there at the end. But what I'm also going to have you do is add happy birthday. And if you're subbed, throw a Benny bless. If not, throw a pray or a prage or something in there. Because we are going to be raiding a Doobie whose birthday is today. They're celebrating their birthday. Um, I didn't realize their birthday was so close to mine. My, mine being on Friday. <laughs> in case you forgot. <laughs> so let's show some supports to uh, Doobie if I can spell your name right. 
Uh, they're playing some Pokemon right now. So, you guys, let's uh, let's show some support to Doobie. Wish them a happy birthday. And like I said, even if you're not able to stick around for their stream, that's all right. Just hop in the raid. Just show some support. I'd appreciate it. I know he'll appreciate it as well. He's super cool and fun. I know you guys will like him. Um, pops into the streams a lot as well. So he's a, he's a member of our community. So I think... Um, definitely definitely a nice opportunity that is ahead of us so you guys thank you so much for hanging out i will see you guys tomorrow for more arc nights get some sleep don't think about the fact that alina just died it's we'll grieve tomorrow okay it's fine i know we're... it's a trying time we'll make it through it together okay <laughs> good night you guys thank you <laughs> uh Fuck my ass. I hate Ark Knight so much. Why did you guys tell me to play this game? I hate this game so much. Jesus Christ. Okay, good night. Goodbye. See ya.